In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. What's good, everybody? We got Where You Hiding? We got Bones in the house. What's good? Where You Hiding? 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 Where you hiding, where you hiding, hiding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my camera ain't working, but uh, Baby Bones is right next to me. But let's get this show on the road. Oh, uh, you're an ugly motherfucker anyway. Uh, I'll just play. <laughs> <laughs> At least Baby Bones makes me look pretty. <laughs> oh, to the ladies, that is. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a cute little kid. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so I guess I'll let you uh break the ice here, get the show started. Yeah, basically, we got ourselves a list here. And how ironic that if you look around the D section, you will see Dan fucking Schneider. Now, if you ain't familiar with Dan Schneider, he is basically the poster boy of Nickelodeon, who is now a fucking psycho. Excuse my language from Baby Bones. But uh, it just, this kind of stuff kind of breaks my heart. Because these are celebrities and politicians and other sources of celebrities that we've all looked up to in our childhood especially Nickelodeon, if you haven't watched all that. And uh, I guess Zoe 101 or Drake and Josh, Kenan and Kel, all, all that good stuff, man. It, it, this, this list is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, wait, I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, oh you bastard. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> god damn it man man but no seriously though now that we have this list and knowing that dan schneider is on there and a bunch of other celebrities that are on there jay-z is even on there and we got a whole case with sean puff daddy combs oh yeah he has uh major ties with p diddy and it's a sad shame that uh all these people are on this list because we be talking about this every day in our dms yeah man it's like, and, and the, the thing that really bothers me to death, I understand that an investigation is an investigation, but when, where, where's the common sense at when you know these people are up to no good and none of these dudes are like erased, you know what I'm saying? Like erased from the entertainment. The can if cancer culture could not come through, now is the time for them to come through. Mm -hmm. Because this, this, this is utterly ridiculous. This is what I call disgusting, okay? Yeah. We grew up watching these dudes. And it's such a damn shame how when you have all this money, it's like, you know, the conspiracy theorists are right, bro. All of these dudes were a big distraction. They can't get rid of the distractions. That's why, since we got this list, they can't, they can't just erase them at least that's what it seems like bro and you know what we're not even exposing a lot of the truth that's out there because it's all swept under the rug i would say about 10 percent of the truth has been told so far through it even shows like quiet on the set oh dude there was a um you remember that black girl that was in the girls room with amanda Bynes? yes she said that whatever happened in that documentary wasn't even the tip of the iceberg, bro. And she that's said, crazy. And that's yeah. crazy because um, Big D was saying it could be or it is. I, I, I'm just paraphrasing Big D. Like what? What? The, what could have possibly like? Could these guys do to these kids? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just, it makes no sense. And we always have, oh, there's always these charities. Uh, uh, avoid child marriage. Avoid avoid tri child trafficking. All that stuff. Even mm -hmm. Ashton Kutcher had a big movement of getting rid of uh, girls and trafficking and stuff. And, and this is the thanks we get? No justice, even though we have everything in front of our fucking face. Mm. Terrible. 
Uh, and what do you think about the people that um, are still reluctant to come out? At least that's what it's, you know, notice how Tom Hanks is now on the other side of the world right now. Oh, no. And this freaking list is out. Dude, go on T. Tom Hanks is on there, bro. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at that list again. If uh, you want to go they have Bernie Sanders on the list? What's up? They got Bernie Sanders on the list? Chris Tucker, no! No! They got Smokey? No way. No way. Oh, hell no! They got Smokey, bro. No way. They got Oprah. They didn't even put her last name on there. She ain't even, you don't even need to. Everybody knows who Oprah is. Well, Oprah Winfrey. But come on now. We only know there's only one Oprah that we know in this world, bruh. Yo, dude, everyone is going to look at the color purple so differently, bro. <laughs> oh my God. All these bro. actors, all these famous movies. The Green Mile, Forrest Gump, oh, even Jim no. Ca Jim Carrey is on this list, bro. So let me guess, uh, the main that that's the main reason why I don't even know how to say it, but is that the main reason why he got his dick healed? Oh uh, wow, wow! To relieve him of burning piss. And fucking common sense. You'd think it would be one of those secret metaphors, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. That's fucking oh, fucked up, right? It is. What's going on, Eric Wallace? <clears throat> What's good, yo? All of these motherfuckers are gonna get it, bro. Thank you, MC Philly. Uh, make sure you keep tabs on the Sixers game for me because uh, we need to find out who's going to play the Knicks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are you got you guys are playing today? Yeah, we're playing right now. Oh, it looks okay. like we're down by six. What what quarter is it? It's the second quarter, three thirty left. It looks like the Sixers oh, down see, six. See, see, that's the thing. When see, th this is me when I watch basketball. Whenever I look at this score and it's the second quarter, I'm like, come on, this game is far from – it's one of those, like, games where I feel like I just got to watch the last quarter and I'll just know where we stand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Football's crazy. Yeah. Don't be like me when you look at a Giants game and the Cardinals happen to blow a 21-point lead. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I don't know how we – that Cardinals game. I was so I was so pissed off if you remember that stream that uh, Meet the Mets hosted. Uh, no, nah, I don't think I saw that one, dude. Don't. No, you was on it with me. Don't you was on it with me. That was the baby shower game, bro. Yeah, well, dude, I was and, nowhere. I was nowhere near the internet when the Giants were playing the Cardinals. That was the, the baby shower game. I had to be. I was a big part in that. <laughs> You know, the, <laughs> you know, the pop has got to be around for the big shower. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? A day later, you showed up on the live stream with me on, on uh, Meet the Mess stream. Uh, I probably did. Yes. I've been, a lot, I've been on a lot of uh, Mets streams. No, I, I'm, I know you were because uh, it was the one where I called uh, awesomeness a creature. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. What's my favorite word? Just never fucking ending. <laughs> but uh, dude, you would you would think that all of these guys Man, I knew Demi Moore would be in that shit. I what? How fucking so? knew it, bro. I How so? fucking knew it. Dude, she was already in trouble for grooming little fucking boys, bro. They had her on camera and every fucking thing, but they swept that under the rug too. She was oh, grooming Lord. little boys into like, think of like the perverted teacher that's banging all the fucking uh, high schoolers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what Demi Moore was fucking doing, bro. Oh my God. You did tell me that Quentin Tarantino was going to be on this list too. I did? I you mean, did at one point. 
possibility, but I really didn't want to believe it because I am a huge fan of Pulp Fiction, bro. I love that movie. But damn, bro. You know what? I did say this. We can't be all that upset. We got to know the truth no matter how much it hurt. We just got to face reality. These are the sick fucks that are on this list. We got to face the fucking facts and that. Hopefully some of this list is wrong. I would like to hope so. Because I, I saw Jim Carrey on there, and I'm like, dude, you got to be joking, bro. Come on. <laughs> What's Stephen Colbert doing on a little list, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, Celine Dion is in this fucking thing. No. Now, now, Celine Dion, let me tell you why Celine Dion wouldn't surprise me. Remember her disturbing, and I mean disturbing, commercial that she had for transgender kids. Mm. That was utterly fucking insane. Did she attend a parade? Dude, like, she's she's giving these babies, like, X's and O onesies. Like, you don't know who the fucking uh, gender is of the kid. No, 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 no. They got Eminem on the list? No, 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 no. No, no, that's, no, no. She would have been under E. He would have been under E. He would have been under M. On the list? He would, he, his name is Marshall Mathers. He would have been oh, under Oh, they M. put him by, so they put him by fucking M? Oh my goodness. No way. Where the fuck is that? I'm trying to see, but it won't load the screen. God damn it. You know what it is? The, it was, this was the list. Just so you know, I, I the, the list that you see before you right now, that's on yes. the screen, that was a YouTube video that I found, and unfortunately, the stupid fucking caption's in the way, so I can kind of understand why I couldn't see Eminem on that list. Mm. Damn, where the fuck? You know what's so fucking crazy? How Dan Schneider not only had the Nickelodeon foot... But he had the Nickelodeon uh, Island, and it looks like the same shape as Epstein Island, bro. That's crazy. Dude, I'm, I'm literally up to the point where maybe these conspiracy nut jobs are not fucking kidding anymore. Mm. Because we are dealing with a high-quality fucking high-top celebrity motherfucking sickos out there. And you know what's so fucked up? What's so fucked up? I remember when I was a kid, I went to this uh, acting school called Neighborhood Playhouse. No complaints there. There was no sexual harassment. No kid was harmed. But just knowing that I actually tried out to, you know, because I wanted to be part of a TV show. I want to be in a fucking movie. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't fucking make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Oh, my God. Goodness, this list I would have been those 90 kids from all that that probably got molested. I would have oh, been another man. Thing. man oh, Brian Peck, bro. You want to know something crazy? Um, even Corey Feldman exposed Brian Peck, too. He had it on his book, on, a, mm. on another DVD that he released, which obviously the mainstream media won't even let you fucking see it. Mm-hmm. If anything, everyone who doubted Corey Feldman, all you motherfuckers owe him an apology, bro. Yes, sir. He was right about every fucking thing. Mm. I'm still wondering when the fuck Sony is going to go down. I know we talk about Disney and Nickelodeon a lot, but when the fuck is Disney going to go down? Oh, it's not. Sony's in trouble. Sony killed Michael Jackson. Sony kind of... uh, Sony has something to do with killing Michael Jackson, bro. And Kesha, too. Kesha, too? Wow. Um, I know they, she got literally by her manager, but god damn, bro. Yeah, and they dropped the case because she was still under contract with Sony. What? what? How the fuck is that possible? They dropped the case? Yeah, and there was no justice. No justice. Wow. Mm. Motherfuck. No wonder she came out with that fucking song. Yeah. It's my favorite song by her. Very, very good. That high note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. 
Jesus Christ, man. We're dealing with a bunch of sick motherfuckers, dude. Hopefully not Chris Tucker. Yeah, ah, uh, that to me. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel is on that list. I believe that to the fucking... Do you remember the comedy show, The Man Show? Yes. Yo, dude, look up Wife School on YouTube. For him to be a fucking, like, oh, I stand with the women activists. Fuck you. You came up with that fucking skit called Wife School. They should have had your fucking head that day. You said Wife School? Wife School. Are you able to play it on here? Uh, Let's see. This is Jimmy Kimmel's old shit. Now, if you were to watch this shit and look at him now... You would have thought he's like the biggest fucking hypocrite on the face of this earth, bro. Uh, let me put this on screen share real quick. Boo, 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 boo. Talking about how he's all fucking, oh, I stand with women. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, Jimmy. K- Dude, and Aaron Rodgers... Aaron Rodgers trolled the shit out of him, too. And he was fucking right. All right. And I don't, and you know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers. He was actually... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. The first one. The, the first, first one. one. Yeah, yeah that's it. it. <laughs> oh, Bob, the wife. Oh, did you spill your beer muscles? I'll clean it up and get you a cold new one. And when the game's over, blow this and I'll scurry right back and polish your pepperoni. Whoa. Wow, Bob, you really have your wife trained. Yeah. Trained. Wife school? school? What's that? For almost a quarter of a decade, wife school has been transforming average women into high quality wives. Whoa. Wife school offers a Oh. Look, the feet, the feet. Dude, I forgot about that shit. The feet, bro. <laughs> no. Not the it, nigga feet. No nigga feet. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, dude, how ironic is that? Stop spending my money. Stop spending Oh, my God, dude. Oh, mayonnaise. Wife school will improve your wife, guaranteed. Of course you'll notice the fucking life, mayonnaise. The importance of poker night. <laughs> Who cares what Oprah says? Infidelity, he can, you can. And two pairs of shoes are plenty. <laughs> Before my husband enrolled me in wife school, I would even pick up the phone to order a pizza. But now, I cook him five meals a day and have them served by high-priced hookers. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, bro. Jimmy Kimmel skit. I menstruate a lot, sometimes even once a month. But thanks to wife school, I never even get my period anymore. Oh, thanks, wife. Holy shit, man. Wife school. Because a better wife means a better life. Thanks, thanks wife school. school. <laughs> that hypocritical <laughs> son of a bitch, bro. What's up, CG? <laughs> With Epstein and get away with charges, guess yeah, yeah. It's sad, bro. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. It's disgusting. Damn it. <laughs> I'm like Cop Pizzle's son when he fails to blow the whistle. I gotta find it. Up. Oh, it is okay. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, damn. You know what I got? Since you got Helga on there. Oh, you bastard. Helga's Nickelodeon, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Go Cartoon Network. I still rock with Helga. (laughs) Now, as much as I love Hey Arnold, do you remember that one scene? I think it was Helga and Hey Arnold having a conversation. And and if you look by the window, you don't even pay attention to the window, but it's some girl getting her ass eaten out. Oh, my God. Do you, do you remember that? Do you know what episode I'm talking about? I don't remember the exact episode, but I do but remember But you've seen at least happening. a clip about it, right? 
Yes. Yeah, someone's asses. Now, now that Jess and I have been watching the freaking uh, um, Hey Arnold, we're binge watching it now. I'm waiting on that episode where the chick's getting her ass eaten now. If if that just to confirm it and see if that's really true, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Me and the, me and, see, because me and the missus, me and the missus have had we've been investigating that shit for a while. <laughs> I found it. Right. Oh, you found it? Yes. Uh, let me see. Now I got to screen share it. Uh, Dude, they they have been hiding this shit. For fucking years, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> no way, dude. That is fucking it, bro. Um, <laughs> they have been hiding this shit. These are a bunch of dude. Even D- Disney, Disney's guilty too. You know Disney's guilty too. Of course. Remember in the Rescuers, they had a topless chick while while the two mice were on that uh, roller coaster thingy. I wasn't yeah, too and, big. and the Little Mermaid. I wasn't Mr. too big on the Rescuers. Mrs. Bones just told me about the Little Mermaid, where the priest gets a boner. Mm. Followed by the one where Harold works for Mr. Green. Oh, that joke where he goes like, "Oh, I'm tenderizing my meat, Harold." Oh, no way. No <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> Wait, Time Warner 2? So, time. I don't think I watched uh, Time Warner, but... Or is that a name of an episode? Because I have never heard of Time Warner at all. I must be missing something. I've heard of Warner Brothers. Oh yeah, who hasn't heard of Warner Brothers? Dude, even Warner Brothers could could be in trouble for this shit, bro. You don't know that. Well, they aren't a channel anymore. Don't they still make movies? You should. <laughs> I think they yeah. do make movies, but I think I know a lot of things have been under Paramount Plus lately. Oh, he meant Warner Bros. Okay. Oh, he meant Warner Brothers. Okay. Oh no, Warner Brothers is guilty, bro. Yeah, Warner Brothers. Cancers. Warner Brothers are still around. I think Warner Brothers. Um, they had to do with the uh, the Many Saints in Newark. They tried to make the Sopranos movie. Didn't they, they sexualize were the Animaniacs? Didn't they like sexualize the Animaniacs? Kind of. Yes, they did. Uh, it was the Prince skit. <laughs> And and whenever they said some sexual innuendo, uh, Yaka would be like, "Good night, everybody." Oh wow! Yeah, all the innuendos. Yes. You might have thought here's 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 the fucked up part. You might have thought that they had all these innuendos just for the adults, just so they could laugh at, it, and maybe it's something for the adults to watch too, just to get a laugh at it. No, these guys are sick. Yeah. Sick motherfuckers, dude. These guys are disgusting. Well, that's disgusting. You gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. What's going on, 8Biz? Um, congrats on the sweep. We're gonna be bringing out the brooms tonight, too. This is not a Hey Arnold stream. This is an Epstein fucking Nickelodeon Dan Schneider stream. Yes. So and how and how there's do. no justice. There's no justice just because they're a bunch of rich motherfuckers. And I hate it so much. I am so destroyed. Okay, so let's say hypothetically, in a perfect world, right? Let's have let's let's take this conversation to another level here. In a perfect world yeah. where everyone was getting fucked, and I mean fucking like canceled. <laughs> put in b- behind bars all that shit which i believe brian peck should be fucking executed by the way exactly. um but in a perfect world don't you think that people just might start reading books again even if it's on your tablet you know what i'm saying what yeah. kind of different world do you think we would have 
if there actually was justice in this world? It would be a hell of a lot different. People would be a lot more civil, not so much focus on, you know, uh, morals of life like this, like the Bible or anything, but it would at least get everybody on the right path, so to speak. There would be a lot less, I guess, crimes of the heinous nature, I guess. I personally think that people would be just a little bit smarter in life. And not have to look, you know, to like mimic these celebrities. Oh, everyone's got to be like this guy. Everyone's got to be like that guy. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Jerry G? Dude, like, we need, we need like a big time entertainment shutdown type thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's going to have to take something monumental for the rest of these victims to come out. I feel I sorry heard, for I them. I heard that Steve was a mess from Blue's Clues. You're right, CG. I heard he was a mess. Damn, what's his name? I, know I don't think talking he molested about. anyone, but he was on drugs at one point. Yeah. Oh, man. That was his name, Steven? I mean, according to Blue's Clues, I don't know what his real uh, government name was. <laughs> Still looking good. Eating the subway sandwiches. Mr. Cherry Fogel. All right, let me see if I could get like a better look at this list here. Okay. Uh, Yo, dude, John Cusack, bro? The fucking superhero of the fucking 80s, dude? Bro. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Hey! Oh, of course, Kevin Spacey. He he already got in trouble because some other some kids spoke out. Mm. That's another thing. We need more motherfuckers to speak out here, bro. Yeah, but you know what? I told Big D the same thing. I said it's going to take a while for these people to come out. They have to do it when they feel comfortable. I mean, how much hush money does does Dan Schneider have? I know. I last I checked, his net worth is like forty million, and not only that, he got like seven. He got an extra seven million the year he got fired. That's still enough to hush him up. That's so fucked. And and uh, honestly, bro, I think all the times when we thought Amanda Bynes was crazy, I don't think she's fucking crazy now. Oh, let's talk a little bit about that abortion. Um, so, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's not 100% proven, so I can't say that she had the baby, but I know a lot of people are like, they're talking massive shit about it. I know that. But I, if I don't know something for sure, then I'm going to have to say no. But what I did find ironic is that Jamie Lynn Spears' kid almost looks like Dan Schneider. What? Look up, look up Jamie Lynn Spears' kid, and then look up Dan Schneider, bro. I, I shit you not. Jamie Lynn Spears' first child. Let's be that specific. Oh, boy. This is going to be ugly. Dude, it was one of the biggest, like, one, one of, it wasn't even, um, it wasn't even the documentary that talked about it. It was a bunch of YouTubers that that exploited it. And holy fucking shit, dude. It, there, there's some there's some pretty shocking resemblance there, dude. All right. Um, get ready to uh, be kind of disturbed. Here we go. Oh, boy. Okay, it so that's... Like Now compare it. There has to be like whoop, I gotta find that last video because where they they put they put the two and two together, and I thought it was like the trippiest shit I've ever. You're talking like a mirage. You still there? I'm still here. Yeah. You, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, so you're talking about basically a uh, a collage. Yeah. I got to find that YouTube video, though, because they, they, they made a collage off of that, and I thought it was the most disturbing thing ever. 
Hey, let me know so I can send you. Actually, you know what? I'll send you the link as well. Um, and then I'll uh, edit the title of the video later. Oh, and someone else is trying to get in? Yeah, our boy Big D. Yeah. Let's fucking go. He wants all the smoke. He, nah, uh, he dude, I know he's got some shit to say, man. I know he does. Yes. He introduced me to that one girl. Uh, what was her name? Alex. It was Alexis something. He'll, he'll know who I'm talking about. She is fucking good, man. Oh, my God. She's got so much shit on Dan Schneider. It's not even funny. Wow. And um, a quick shout out to Big D. I want to give you some credit on how far you came as far as, you know, your journey on finding women. So keep it up, bro. I'm glad that I got to be somewhat a part of it. Yes, sir. I, I, I remember we were talking to this girl that, like, worked at the uh, Gothic nightclub. She was nice. God damn it, Sixers. You're down by 12. Oh, boy. It's not even the fourth quarter yet. Don't even sweat. I, I don't sweat it until I watch the fourth quarter. That's how I. That's my attitude towards uh, basketball. Man, I swear to God, man, we're going to lose this game. Miami's going to come up to us like this. Fact. You are now all my bitches. Fact. Oh, I could just see it now. If you saw Dan Schneider, what would you say or do? If I saw Dan Schneider in person, wow. No, and the Phillies are blowing the lead? No. Don't, no, no. No. Oh, God damn. What? Oh, we still have the lead. We're. Oof. Yo, I'm going to send you the link to the video I found, and you kind of have to skim through. Because for some odd reason, I just can't put it on here. I'm going to send it to you through your Instagram, and you're going to open this video. And you're going to skim through it. And I think towards the end, they do have a collage of Dan Schneider and Jamie Lynn Spears' kid. Let me skip straight to the end here. Just uh, let, let me uh, send you the thing. It looks like you sent it. All right. Let me share the screen. Corey Fieldman gives, up, gives his opinion. No, it's not that one. Oh, dang it. Sorry, folks. It's not that one. Although that is that is very helpful because he does talk about Brian Peck and everything. How he tried to warn everyone for years about this guy. Oh, here we go. Woo -wee. Right, let me skip ahead here. They they kind of show it like towards the end of the like a little bit towards the end of the video. You got to go. You know how they give you, like, the sections and stuff? Yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, my God. She Dude. has a lot of similarities. Brace your fucking self. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that, though? That is disgusting. Come on. Oh, my God. Tell me that is not scary as fuck, bro. Mm. I wish I could see a picture of Jamie Lynn, her kid now, in today's day and age. Yeah, we got it. We, you know, we'll we'll look at that, and then put in a picture of Dan Schneider and just make a comparison, and you be the judge on it. They got the same dimples. It's around the nose to the mouth. That is scary as fuck, dude. The smile and everything is kind of shocking. I wonder what goes on through Jamie Lynn Spears' head. She must, like, say to herself, I want a DNA test. <laughs> mm. Where the fuck is Maury when you need him? Paternity tests should be required at birth. Seriously, bro. I don't even know why they don't do that because so many fucking 
There's so many heartbroken dads out there, bro. And I feel for the ones that aren't the biological father who have to pay child support. And these women continue to get away with it. Well, that's disgusting. Well, that's disgusting. Hold on. Wait a bit. <laughs> I got to look for it again. I got so many clips. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> But on a serious note, though, like some of these women, they be pinning a child on a poor man who ain't even the biological father. And, and it's terrible, man. Like they getting them in child support. They be attached to the kid for four or five years. And but, then. But this, this is on a whole other fucking level. And then, you know, four or five years later down the line, when they finally get the paternity of the child and he finds out it's not his. Like, you'd be like, oh, man, I can't quit on this child now. Oh, my God, that woman suckered him. Wait, you're saying on the fifth year it's required? No, no, no. I'm just saying in general, when you get so attached to the kid, the woman suckered you into fucking pretty much uh, right, right, being right. there for the kid. Man, that's got to psychologically fuck with these dudes, man. It does. And I'm and I'm not saying just mentally, but psychologically, bro. I'd be a fucking psycho on that shit, bro. It's crazy, man. Where's that F still was? <laughs> Boy. Who else is on this motherfucker? Robert De Niro. Robert fucking De Niro, bro. Oh, I gotta look. Uh, Prince Charles. Let's see. Pa Paris Hilton. What the fuck? Orlando Bloom. You sick motherfucker, dude. Why isn't Orlando Brown on the list? Nandy Campbell. Holy shit. Mm. James Franco. Well, that's no fucking surprise. There was already allegations on him. Wow. John Donovan. Legend. John Wait Travolta. Donovan Mitchell's on the list. Drew Barrymore. Ooh. Wow. She probably wanted to get molested. Oh, I was about to say, I thought I saw fucking Alice Cooper on the list. Oh, that would have been insane. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, just like how Marilyn Manson gets those allegations, then so is uh, Alice Cooper. Like, goddamn, dude, that would have been fucking nuts. Of course, Charlie Sheen is on the list. Charlie Sheen? Wow. The one who got HIV. And not only that, I think Brian Peck was also uh, producing that show, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Orlando Brown with that <laughs> Oh my god. With his that so raven ass. <laughs> I'll never forget the day where he said that Bow Wow has some bomb ass pussy. Wow. Yo, what's up with your uh Philly rapper taking it up the ass from P. Diddy? Oh my god. Uh the recording. Damn, I got I gotta find that recording that I sent you yesterday. That's that was disturbing as fuck, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm sorry I even sent that to your ass. Nah, I did not, bro. Like I literally just woke up, and I just woke up. I had a, I had a, I took a day off today. You know, I had to get a lot of paperwork and a bunch of shit out the way. But goddamn, bro. That bit, that was so gross. That was gross. How to ruin a Giants fan's day. <laughs> that literally <laughs> fucked up my whole fucking, like, it, it makes you, it's, it's shit like this that makes you wonder, bro. Mm. Everyone's all into that gay shit, and then everyone's like, oh, don't be so homophobic. No, these motherfuckers are getting raped. Meek Mill. Meek Mill yeah, got raped. Yeah. That's fucked up. And he was just, you know what's so fucked up? Usher was doing the Super Bowl halftime show. He got raped. 
fucking Meek Mill was hosting WrestleMania, he got raped. Mm. It's like they're trying to fucking tell us something, bro. It, it, it's so fuck. Maybe the world is a fucking stage, dude. All right, here it is. Oh, oh come on. Oh my god. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't even know why you even fucking played it, god damn it. That's Scott's thing. Okay, you gotta say goodbye. All right, let's put you in timeout for a minute. That's just ugh. Uh, let's get rid of you, man. That's just why would you even come in here like that? Okay. Michael Jackson was before passing away. I believe it. Shit. Oh man. damn! Somebody brought up a good question. What? How would you feel if uh you met Dan Schneider? What would you say? What would you do? I would literally tell him to go fuck yourself. It's a shame that you got away with the shit you got away with. Lucky fuck. Well, fuck that guy. Assuming that you would beat his ass and everything, I would assume that you need help carrying the body back to Nickelodeon. And then when Nickelodeon is closed during hours, I mean, after hours, we're going to burn that motherfucker. No, nah, dude, go you, you, on, on some eight mile shit. Remember when they found, remember in the scene of eight mile where they found that house where a little girl got raped and they wanted to burn the house down? Yeah. I want to go to that Nickelodeon studio in fucking Florida and burn that bitch to the fucking ground. Yeah. I'd I'm talking, van, I'm talking vandalize and fucking just fuck that place up, dude. Mm hmm. Who else is on my fucking list? I'm telling you, if that place was anywhere near Jersey, I would have been in fucking jail today for vandalism. Mm. Surprising. Tevin Campbell isn't on the list. No, John Travolta's on the list? No surprise. Think about it, bro. Oh, let me send you the link, man. Katy Perry is on this fucking list. Lady Gaga is on this list. Remember that spirit cooking weird shit that she was into? That's no fucking surprise neither. Now, whenever you hear her say, I'm a free bitch, baby, that has new meaning. New meaning. <laughs> I was born this way. She was born a fucking pedophile. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, thing. Fuck P. Diddy. I almost said feeling like P. Diddy. Angelina Jolie, dude, she adopted a bunch of fucking kids. She's fine as hell. Why? Okay. Angelina Jolie adopted a bunch of fucking kids. It's crazy. She probably got them from Epstein Island. They were probably fucking kidnapped. Oh my goodness. Dude, this this list, this list is outrageous. Dude, Charles Barkley's on here. That's terrible. Holy shit, bro. If a guy is banging you. <laughs> if a guy's but you sound like that. <laughs> if a guy's banging you. If a guy is banging you. <laughs> You said not Angelina Jolie. Dude, Ben Ben Affleck's on here, bro. No. Oh, this list is getting more juicy and juicy by the moment. Ugh, that don't say it like that. Cindy Lauper? What? Come on, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Courtney Cox is on the list. Wow. David Spade? No. David Spade. At least Adam Sandler ain't on it, but David fucking Spade, bro? Damn. George Clooney. Beyonce. Mm, who's from Texas now? <laughs> 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 fucking A, man. Kathy Griffin? Didn't? Oh, wow. 
Holy shit, dude. Seth Green, the guy who played Chris from Family Guy for a stint. Yeah, and he was uh, uh, Dr. Evil's son in uh, Austin Powers. Crazy. Akon's on the list? No. What's his real name? Akon is on the fucking list. Girl, I can't notice but two. Locked up. Won't let him out. Look at that. Sarah Silverman. Oh. Stephen Collins. Stephen Collins. What? Stephen Tyler. Jesus. Oh, no. Can't even listen to Sweet Emotion anymore. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. Yeah. Okay. I'll add you. Um, you don't have to show your thing anymore. All right. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Big D in the house. Good evening. Good evening, bro. Oh, by the way, you missed my show the other night, Bones. No, I, no, I, I, I did. You're right. I did. And that's a shame because that one was a banger. It was last what night, wasn't damn. it? I think it was a couple nights ago. Yeah, that would have been nice to join. Nice to go. I got, I got time now, though. I don't think I was even going to make that stream, but it is what it is. Fair so, enough. So since we got you here, Big D, what are your thoughts on the SB Epstein list? Keep in mind, this list may not entirely be accurate. Some people have brought this to my attention that it's possibly a meme coming from Reddit, but don't assume anything. Now, some people that are on this list are, are probably on the actual list, and some may actually not be. So people that I know for sure would be are the likes of Adam Schiff, that fucking little pencil neck politician from California. But I know his prison buddy, Ed Buck, is there. Joe Biden's on that list. Obama's Ooh. on that list. The Clintons. Oh, the Clintons Bill are Clinton, fucked. Bill Clinton's been there like about 27 times, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because he's part of the NAFTA. Dude, if you on and, and, and island, he's got a fucking picture of Bill Clinton in a fucking dress. Yeah. E exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and just and just a bit of a disclaimer, just remember something. Uh -huh. The uh, Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell's best customers are the ones running the world. Like you see King you see King Charles on that list. He's a puppet of the World Economic Forum led by Klaus Schwab, son of Eugen Schwab, one of Hitler's closest confidants who was a puppet to the Rothschilds. That's terrible. If you really want to go you really want to go down the fucking rabbit there, hole. There is a Rothschild on this list, dude. I know. That's not surprising. I don't know if it's related to the Rothschild family, but I would not be surprised. It's probably one of their it's probably one of the uh, representatives, the advocates. Oh shit. Now now, if you really want, speaking of Nickelodeon, yeah, you could clearly see Dan Schneider's there. He's been to Epstein's Island multiple times. Hell now, yeah. if you want to fight, if you want to tune in, I've already told both of you, is you want to tune in to updates about Nickelodeon or anything like that. I want, I want you to subscribe and look up Alexa Nicholas. You'll know her. Yeah, that's who I was trying to tell him earlier. Yeah, dude, she's I, legit. I, Alexa Nicholas, who's known for playing Nicole Bristow in Zoe 101. She was forced to quit after she was run off by both Schneider and Jamie Lynn Spears. And she still has a beef with Jamie Lynn to this day. Wow. Okay, she recently kind of went back and forth. She kind of started to take shots at Underwood, who played Logan. And she, start, and she started to have a little bit of a beef with the uh, Ned's Declassified cast, the main so, cast. So this is her right here, correct? Yes. Yo, dude, she's legit, bro. She's I, I, found out I found out recently through her that Francis Ford Coppola was protecting a pedo. Mm, you look up, it, it, was, it, it was this film, Clown House, and it was directed by a sick motherfucker. And, and Francis Ford Coppola was funding his legal was legal fees and was weaponizing the court system against the victim. Oh, I, don't know, I, can't, I can't deny it. I, 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 that fucking threw me away. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me, dude. What a piece of shit. And that's a shame because The Godfather, 
Apocalypse Now is my favorite film of all time. He's also behind 1993's Dracula with Gary Oldman, which is a I favorite amongst my that shit earlier. Which is a favorite amongst my new communities. Titanic's my favorite. Nothing even though they should have been, part of, even though they should have been, I should have been part of those communities. I should have been fully invested years ago. Ooh, let me go back to the Epstein list. Don't let Leonardo DiCaprio be on that list. I think he might be. I oh, know no. Matt Damon. I mean, Brian Peck already has a disturbing video with Leo DiCaprio to begin with. I already know. Oh, I yeah. already know Matt Damon is. I already know Matt Damon's there. No fucking way, Matt Damon's there. I'm not positive, but I think Whoopi Goldberg is too. Keep in mind, Whoopi Goldberg defended Roman Polanski and claimed it was "quote unquote" not real rape. Her her political views are so off, dude. All, all nearly everybody with the fucking pro Joe Biden, pro progressive, pro authoritarian leftist viewpoints have all been clients of Epstein at one point or another. At least many of them have either that. Or they're on Disney's payroll. They're on Warner Bros. payroll, and, and some of them are on Viacom's. So, uh, Big D, real quick, just to kind of jump off topic, who was that bull you were talking about when uh, he was defending Biden earlier? Oh, Rob Reiner from fucking All in the Family, aka yeah, he's on that a too. Aka, as Kyle Brofloski from South Park would say, "Fat Turd," which is why I call him all the time because he's always got fucking Donald's name in his mouth. And he's always sucking Biden off. Ew! <laughs> yes. Ew! Exactly. There's a new clip of Alexa Nicholas yelling, Ew! When she was reacting to the creepy taglines from the end of Victorious. Like, each episode <laughs> had its own little tagline via Sony Music. And Sony Music are a bunch of weirdos. They we were just uh, talking Sony about Music, them earlier. filled with predators as well, obviously. Yeah. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, and I and I have to say a disclaimer that remember, people only get people are only being found out when their usefulness to the system have completely ended. Yes, Schneider's of no fucking value to anybody anymore, and they're that's just, why they're exposing him now. And they're notice just how they don't, and notice how just, they don't say sorry until they uh, get caught. Right at this point, he's just as imperfect. Cell would say refuse. We got to find out who these enablers are, man. I feel like we've only found out 10% of the truth. This is what I've been telling. Oh, we already, we already know who it is, but guess what? Nothing's going to happen to them because they run the world. Yeah. The, the fucking, the, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the World Economic Forum, who actually publicly came out and said that pedophilia is a beautiful thing or something like that. And if you don't know who the World Economic Forum is, look them up. And also so, look up look up Agenda 2030, and their famous tagline is, you will own nothing and you will be happy. So there's still this question that's kind of looming through my head. So sex trafficking, Diddy can get away with it for so many years, but how come Dan Schneider gets away with it? Like, what the hell, man? Because one's more useful to the system than the other. Diddy's more useful to the system now. Well, Keep in mind, does, and also, I thought music, I'm going to bring this up every chance I get. I'm going to always bring this up. The day in advance, Diddy talked Biggie out of bulletproofing his suburban. And you keep said in mind, he has some, keep in mind that he has something to do with uh, Tupac's as well. Tupac's keep dead. in mind, Tupac and Biggie were ready to collab, and they were about ready to expose everything. Something had to be done about that. I really hope they find him as the killer. And, and Tupac has actually gone on to admit, although unrelated, Tupac has gone on to admit that East Coast versus West Coast is real was really nothing more than a marketing ploy uh, to sell records. We could probably uh, for, still get we could probably still get Diddy for a uh, sec, second degree murder for both of those Possibly. cases. No, fuck Possibly, bro. Fuck that guy. Yeah. And then, and there's there's actually a few there, there's a few people I'm I'm in some of my own community that are small time that are pointing out the uh, child's labor in the fashion industry something that although we've known that for years and I've and I've told 
One of them who's from Philly, who I told her that I probably will end up meeting her someday. Um, I told her straight up, you're already doing the right thing by having your own clothing brand. You're already doing the right thing by having your own business on your own terms, doing it the way you want to, and the inability to be corrupted or bought off. You're already doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, seriously, bro. You're already fighting the power. I agree, a Biz, and I agree, Big D. Who's doing that chewing over there? I want some of that. What's up? Hold on, another thing unrelated. I'm not I'm not positive, but I think uh, Afina, Shakur, Afina Shakur was part of the Black Panther Party. I'm not positive. Yes, she oh, was. She yeah. was a and huge then, and- activist. There's a here there's a quote from the Black Panther Party called Understand the Concept of Love, which was sampled into a theme song in a future video game, and that was added to Project M remix. Guess what, but Big I, D? She she was part of the Black Panther movement. She was a very huge activist in her day. Right. I think Tupac ha, has a had a vendetta against New York for the longest time, partially because of that. Yeah. I think they, I heard that they were forced to flee. Yes, um, they I eventually mean, moved to Baltimore. They moved to Baltimore, and then they moved. Out, then he moved out to L.A. while they stayed. Right. Yeah, sometime before coming out with Tupacalypse now. Yeah, you know now, I'm, I'm I'm actually four days older than that album. I want you to I want you to look up this MMA fighter called King Bao. I think his name is Jonathan Bauman. He he was he was he's a small time in he's a small time MMA fighter who called out Kimmel and say, "Hey, you're all pedophiles until that list is released." Dude, even even Aaron Rodgers was on Kimmel's ass about it too. Right, and also I I brought up earlier that Kimmel also did blackface, much like Justin Trudeau did. I think he's on that. I think he's an Epstein client as well. Is this the man you're talking about? Go to images. Images. This definitely ain't the guy. All right. You said uh, MMA. Yeah. I think, but it's spelled B A U. B A U. And his Instagram is King Bao. Let's go back to the search. And he might have predated Alexa Nicholas's Eat Predators slogan. But I'm not positive. And I'm familiar to tell Jimmy Kimmel eat dick. Wow, that's graphic. Oh, you're all pedos. Oh, this must be the video you're talking about. Yes. All right, let me click on that real quick. Ah, damn. Oh, no way. No way. I got to see this video. This is a video? Yeah. It was a a post-match interview. It's not a major event. It's not a major event like, say, Bellator or UFC. It's a lot. It's smaller than that. don't matter. I want to see it that. He has, has his own podcast too, and I think it he was wearing. Matter, a, I think he was wearing a choker necklace too. All right, I gotta see this video. And sometimes he does. He, sometimes he wears fetish wear. That was that. I did. I did. Oh, sorry. No, I just got an email from Google saying, don't forget to get your ticket to Kung Fu Neckties. And I already got it. I'm going. <laughs> I already got it. I'm going. You still <laughs> looking for that video? Where you hiding? How the hell did you not find it yet? It's right there. What are you talking about? That that King Bao video. I thought that was the it. I thought this was it. How come it's not playing on here? Oh, I, I guess I did click the right video. All right. <laughs> I 
You haven't played it on this screen yet, though, bro. Yeah, the screen's been the same. Adjusting. <laughs> Does not compute. See, I wish him the greatest success with his NFT, whatever. It's the second part that he said that has a lot of people listening. Well, athletes are getting paid today. Mr. Influencer to Influencers. Secondly, Jimmy Kimmel, viral this. I fight to eradicate childhood malnutrition from the planet. And until they release the flight logs, you, the mainstream media, Hollywood, are all pedophiles to me. Eat dick. Ooh. Am I canceled yet? Dot com. <laughs> oh, that took a lot so of let's fucking go balls, over bro. What he said right there. Got to came look out of nowhere. Let's go over what Joe Bauman said. Secondly, Jimmy Kimmel, viral this. I fight to eradicate childhood malnutrition on the planet, Bauman continued. And until they release the flight logs, I think everybody knows the flight logs that he's talking about in reference to Hollywood, in reference to the entertainment industry. You, the mainstream media, Hollywood, are all pedals to me. Eat dick. Am I canceled yet? Dot com. Holy shit. Listen, we know that there are there are some uh, some pretty based MMA fighters out there. Don't know too much about Joel Bauman. I love the fact that he's given Jimmy Kimmel. He's given Hollywood and he's given the mainstream media hell. A lot of people understand what's going on. A lot of people have remained silent over the years to see Israel Adesanya going out of his way to speak about what's going on with Ghislaine Maxwell. And now to see another MMA fighter calling out Hollywood, calling out these disgusting people. You love to see it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I'm subscribed to Ryan RK. He's good. Mm. He's, he's, he's one of those same, he's one of the, he's in the same league as the likes of Nerd Erotic, Critical Drinker, and some of those other some of those other guys, Eric July, Ripperverse. I can tell he don't be fucking. We can all they're often on the same podcast. I must say that took a lot of fucking balls to do and that. It, it, jo and yes. funnily enough, th through Joel Bauman, I actually discovered another uh, model from California. Ooh. Because he, got, he also does he does a lot of photo shoots with. Oh God damn it! <laughs> you trolling ass. Get those ref get those ref baiting NBA cowboys the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh dude, that's fucked up, bro. Them's been fighting words, big D. Oh. It's the truth. <laughs> That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh, we have to play these Sixers. That is disgusting. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's gonna be cheap shit all night long. Although that's all right because come playoffs time, they're not gonna call that bullshit. Yeah. And, and guess what? The quote unquote greater than Hakeem, better than Shaq, compared to Kobe and and Jordan. Guess what? He guess what? Joel M. Choker's gonna do again. <clears throat> the fuck out of here, you overrated cocksucker. <laughs> well, you are kind of right. You'll about never that. be level up. You'll never be Shaq, bitch. Yo, you know what else is pissing me off? How the fuck did Nick Cannon not say anything about this Nickelodeon shit? Because he's a fucking pedo too. God damn it, bro. Keep in mind, all these motherfuckers. Keep in mind, he's a racist. Keep in mind, he's a racist cocksucker who says more or less the same shit P. Diddy does. They're he, almost the same in personality, if you've noticed that. Nick Cannon, can he, can he keep his dick out of anything? Well, that's disgusting. Apparently not. Oh, my God. He, he, came, out with a, he came out with a myriad of anti-white rhetoric back in 2021. So he and P. Diddy have like the same personality, same mindset, same almost everything. So like, it should come as man. Surprise. Like, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a kid knocked up as many kids as he got. Wouldn't surprise me. Ugh, God forbid that. No, Big D, I, I got to ask you this because I asked uh, where you're hiding this earlier. 
let's say in a perfect world where everyone was getting arrested or canceled or execute, whatever the fuck it may be. Do you feel that the people in this world would have like, do you feel we'd be like a smarter, like a uh, community or, 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 or a civilization? Like, will we, without a doubt, like, because first of all, we wouldn't get fucking extorted daily. Right. We wouldn't let all, we wouldn't have these cr- we wouldn't let criminals run. The, we wouldn't have all these criminals in government. Government mm. would be reduced to almost nothing as us libertarians want. And and, and they would have no say in our everyday books, lives. Whether it's on the tablet or not. That's true. And keep in mind and keep in mind the FBI has fucking protected pedophiles for years. They once they once ran a child porn site to quote unquote combat child porn. That's what you, that's what your precious alphabet agencies do, and they're all unconstitutional, and they need to be fucking abolished. This entire world is full of enablers. No, it's a, it's full of bu- a bunch of power hungry shitheads. Corporations. and they do they do stick shit because they know they can get away with it. They yeah, they big, they big time the corporations. They revel in the fact that they can do what you can't do. No. Are you kidding me? You're attacking children? No, I got to find a way to protect you so I can protect my investments. Yeah, pretty much. See, th- that's the kind of shit that makes me fucking sick, bro. Yeah. After all, we have a fucking pedophile in the White House, so that should come as no surprise. Don't Not that surprised. we had it before. Don't be surprised if Baker feels you know who was on the list. No, nah, he wouldn't be on that. No, nah, he wouldn't be... He never got that big. Well, he may be big physically because he's fucking 600 pounds. We got oh, a hell of a lab request. Oh, by the way, yeah. I met so. And by the way, I kind of met somebody who at that flea, at the Philly punk rock flea market who was celebrating her 18th birthday. And I still, and I, we're still talking. And by the way, I wait until I'm messaged and I just keep it simple. Take notes, Ooh. elephant seal. That's how it's done, bitch. Elephant seal. Are you calling somebody fat? He's talking that's about. What I call the world, that's what I call the world's thinnest skinned hippo. Because just oh, a bit. Oh. Just to tell, just the reason I call them that is because hippos are actually thick skinned animals. They have armored hides. I, and I didn't. I didn't realize we were still talking about him. <laughs> but yeah, although. Another, uh, although the another thing just popped up, somebody uh, that I encountered on an app just asked me out, and I don't know how that's gonna fucking materialize. Nice. Hey, meanwhile, Dashy, this is for you. <laughs> Invaders in the second. The second greatest behind, of course. <laughs> Ooh, you're gonna put? Are you gonna put Mandark's laugh in the top three or not? He'll probably barely scrap the top five. <laughs> there's, some, there's, some really good, there's some really good ones. Ew. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell you everybody. That would be a good video by you. If you ever come out with the video like I that. I am do I am planning to do that, but next on the list, if I ever get a chance, will be top ten boss themes in video games. That's what's coming next. Uh, 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 uh. No, there's there, there's not gonna be there might be an evil laughs in video games. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I fit I think the best laugh is probably Ganondorf. Oh boy! It is raining outside, and they're all facing yeah. the same direction. No way! He got the Van Dark laugh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby! Let's go! I am oh, Zim. D D D D. You are D-D. stupid. You are stupid. You are stupid, and don't forget, you are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I I use that on a few statists on Twitter. 
<laughs> and I use it on Stepford. I use it on Stepford cocksuckers. For the uninitiated, a Stepford is uh, is this fan who never criticizes their team for anything and will accuse you of being a bad fan for even daring to give a team criticism, even though that's how you help them get better. Yep. You help the, you help them get better by holding them fucking accountable for failure. Yeah, that's why I don't get other fan bases of other teams when they criticize us for oh my god, we can't boo our team. You can't boo your team. Like why the fuck not? They deserve it. Exactly. I've seen, I've seen Philly fans boo their own team. I've seen Giant fans boo their own fucking team. I've seen Dallas do it. Yeah, dude, they were throwing shit at Dak Prescott like a couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was don't blame choked, him. Was that when he choked in the playoffs at home? No, that was the first game of the season against Tampa Bay. I don't blame him. Ah! Splinters! I hate splinters. I always <laughs> hate when I always hate when at work I see packages encased in wood. I'm like, oh motherfucker. No, nah, the worst is when you get a piece of metal stuck in there, bro. I would rather get metal than fucking wood. Really? Yes, or car- the Phillies won. Oh, the oh, it's on, motherfucker. Yes! Thank God they held off. It's on. Good, Fuck on. you. Fuck yes. you guys. Bring out the brooms. Broad Street brooms. You ain't Broad Street and broom these, motherfucker, bro. Funny thing is, I, funny thing is, I was actually on Broad Street last Saturday. I'm not talking about the Sixers, Bones. I'm talking about the Phillies. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great if we sweep the Yankees somehow. We'll see. Or the I'm Knicks. De- I'm, I'm debating if I actually want to go to the Philly Stadium. The fun, fact, they still have the more, fun fact, they still have the more recent title, even though it's only by one measly year. Yeah. They oh, still have a lot more titles to go with it, though. Yeah, because y'all remember... Y'all remember uh, Hideki Matsui friggin' lit the he lit their asses up and then he vanished off the face of the earth. Uh, Jason Giambi uh, too. Hideki Matsui was fucking the fills up. My dad used to call him Godzilla. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Still, we should <laughs> run like it is Godzilla! No, it isn't. It isn't. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Funny montage nominee right there. Big D, you did an outstanding job with that. <laughs> <laughs> I try not. <laughs> what are you the count now? Yeah, the Phillies got the sweep. Congrats on your Braves getting the sweep, too. Who swept the Braves? No, the Braves swept the Astros today. Oh. And the Reds got swept by Seattle today. Sorry, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Thank you. At least, at least this year, you don't have to call somebody daddy with your shirt off. Oh my! <laughs> oh boy! One of the reasons why I, this, this is one of the reasons why I don't do bets is because there's this shit I'm never going to live down. Oh, we beat the Blue Jays! Fuck yeah! Fuck you, Toronto! Yeah, fuck yeah, you, Toronto, Toronto, for taking away that fucking ring from us. Joe Carter, I fucking hate you. RPF will tell you all about it, Big D. Oh, he has. Just Although I blame, I blame your sorry, I blame your sorry ass pitcher for that. And, and I heard they egged his house afterward. No, oh, we said we said that dude death threats. We did everything to him. We're talking oh, they, about they egged, uh, his, they egged his house. Y'all bunch of filthy motherfuckers. My step, my fe- my stepfather told me that. He told me that after he allowed that grand slam, they egged his house. No, it wasn't a grand slam. It was a three run, three run home run for a walk. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. He told me that they egged his house. His name is Mitch Williams, just so you know. Yeah, I know. They egged his house. Yeah. Do that best stainless. No another nigga can handle it. Wouldn't surprise me if Cisco was on that list. Tired of wearing this yellow thong. Take it back, Cisco. You know where it belongs. 
Who's been sleeping in my you gotta, bed? You gotta love, you gotta love Bizarre of D12, where his lyrics have pretty much nothing to do with the plot of the song. Yeah. That now, was kind but, of sick. Before you had Bizarre, you had Old Dirty Bastard, though. Old oh, all Dirty all at least kept it relevant to the plot. Well, that, that and he was, uh, he was pretty dope as shit, too. You're the type of bitch don't appreciate shit. Never have shit, so you won't be shit. Oh my god, what a close fucking game, dude. Come on, Heat. <laughs> Big D hate that's what I'm like. <laughs> so, so, then, now then here's he's the fucking, thing though. I want the fucking frauds home. I love me some New York and Philadelphia rivalry. Let, let me tell you what happens, Big D. If we lose tonight, we're still not eliminated. We get one more chance to get in. Who the hell do you face? This it's a battle for the Celtics. Whoever wants oh, whoever wins. Okay, maybe it might be a good okay, maybe a good idea that you do win. That way you don't have the Celtics as an excuse for when you choke again. So um the winner of the uh the Hawks and the Hawks and uh Bulls game will play the loser of the Heat versus Sixers. And so then that match and then that oh, matchup will determine oh, who you'll plays the you'll get to, Goody, you'll get to beat up on a bad team. And then that team, and then that matchup will determine who plays the Celtics. But tonight's matchup right here, this one determines who plays the Knicks. But they're not, although right now they're not in the beat up on bad teams part of the cycle. They're in the fans get delusional part of the cycle. Um, good question by A. Fizz. What if Patrick Mahomes was on the list? Ooh, that would not be likely. a turn of events. No, he's not, my, old enough. he's not old enough. Although Donovan Mitchell's on the list. Yeah, but in my opinion, I think his father would be on the list. Maybe. But the, uh, keep in mind, we got to, it's it's a matter of whether or not the actual client list will ever get released. But, the, but let me tell you something. It's not going to get released because they're on the list. The reason they won't release the list is because they're on the list. Oh, that's fucked up. And how'd that work? And how'd that work out for the Ravens in the end? They ended up Lamar Jackson's a playoff choker. Yeah, he is. First time. All the, the all those fucking game. all those fucking running QBs are all choke artists, bitches. I don't know, man. That last what, why? What is it with the fucking? Fuck, why did the Eagles see anything in them? I just don't get it. I guess we're oh, looking for like, I guess diversity. It doesn't. Uh, okay, maybe Mahomes. But the thing with Mahomes is he at least uses his arm. He doesn't rely on his legs. Well, he's a triple threat. And Mahomes is doing it with basically grocery, basically cart carriers as their as his receivers. He's got no receivers, none, and he's still getting the job done. Yeah, what he did to the Niners was so dirty in that. Meanwhile, so oh. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the likes of San Francisco's QB, Philly's QB, and Dallas's QB are are products of having top tier talent around them, and you lose at least one of those guys, and they're deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> that does sound pretty accurate. Poor Niners. Al, let's have sex. Uh, no pig. <laughs> Let me see that again. I, I, I didn't get a good look at that. I'm a, I'm a pig. Don't wait on a stimulus check from Mr. Biden. Don't even wait on your tax returns coming in the mail. Call me to put a hit out on your most hated rivals. Don't wait on Biden. You need to call Hyden. <laughs> By the way, Philly can tell you 
it doesn't end well for defending Super Bowl chokers. Nah, so they gotta. It's their turn. Yeah, and I heard they're about to lose Brandon Ayuk. He said he. Uh, he said um, he never requested a trade. Well, uh, saying one thing is doing another. Keep in mind, Hassan Reddick said he didn't want to be traded, and look what happened. Mm. I rest my case. And they yeah. fucking traded like, him for like nothing. like how I didn't want to believe the Saquon Barkley rumors until y'all got rid of fucking Swift, and then I'm just like, oh, shit. We didn't get rid of Swift. We didn't get rid of Swift. Swift said, fuck you. I'm tired of never getting the goddamn ball, so I'm going to go somewhere where people are going to use my talent. And it's justified because we didn't treat him right. And no. I, will, I will miss Swift, to be honest. And it's going to be the same case with Barkley. Who knows? Maybe we'll change. But you can't depend on change with the Philadelphia Eagles. Hell no. Keep in mind, they hired two coordinators with the exact same scheme. The same guy who Dak was a turnover machine under. <laughs> yes, yes, we need to put it. We can't have nobody three-peating. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys got Kellen Moore, right? Yes. Oh, my but God. I was not a fan. They, they, they basically put no effort into their coordinator search. Don't wait on Biden, Athis. You need to call Hyden, Athis. Although there are, there, are a few, there are a few business cards of people that I can recommend to you. And by the way, their cards are made. Their color is bone. Followed by Cillian Rail. You hear that bone? Very nice touch. It's, it's full of bone. Full and of on bone. the in the writing is something called Cillian Rail. Don't worry about the sticks and stones. You need to call bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, is, is your some... is your team looking like shit? And you need a YouTube video maker to make it sound nice. We'll make we'll make your own sixteen Lions offense. Look like the 2023 Lions offense. <laughs> Don't worry about the sticks and stones. You need to call bones. <laughs> <laughs> Funny montage. <laughs> Holy Ooh. shit. I love I it. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Yes, you do, Big D. You still except got the Godzilla the, shit. Come on, fact, Big D. Come on, except man. For the fact that, except for the fact that the the sponsor of this stream is Wild Cherry Pepsi. It just tastes so damn good. Also, Fernando's New Beginnings. Call Fernando today at Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. <laughs> All right. Dude, tell me that was from the Grand Theft Auto commercial, bro. It is. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm talking about, man. You wanna, know, you wanna know something funny? I've already told you this I've already told you this, but the first time I've heard actual goth music was from Grand Theft Auto. Examples, New Order Blue Monday, which plays at the it plays on these nights almost all the time. That was in Vice City Stories, which is this was this game came out in 07 and takes place two years before the events of Vice City. Also, The Cure Forest was in that, as well as Depeche Mode, Everything Counts. And in Grand Theft Auto 4, Sisters of Mercy Dominion was in there, which makes sense, considering that's the darkest game in the series. Wow. I will always say this about Rockstar games. Red Dead Redemption is probably the most underrated of all, all the Rockstar games. No, Red Dead Revolver is. Okay. And I heard that actually, much like the uh, old school Grand Theft Auto 3 universe, Red Dead Revolver is actually a different universe than Red Dead Redemption. I think I personally think that it's the events of Grand Theft Auto taking place in the late 80s in the Wild West era. I think it's the same timeline. Vice City. Uh, so regular, regular, I did like Vice, Vice City, City. Uh, Reaper. Vice City, to me, Vice City was 86, baby, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it takes place, yeah, it takes place in 1986, and Vice City Stories takes place in 1984. 86. Unfortunately, that will, four stranger things. Funny is, the stories duo never it. gets remakes, ever. The only time one ever did was when Liberty City Stories was re-released re on, th on uh, iPad or something. I don't remember. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Liberty. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Tony, 
It's your ma. How long have you been back in town? How come you ain't come and see me? What's wrong with you? I'm your mother for your holiness sake. Come on. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? And look at you. You're so thin. If you were living here, you'd be eating right. Oh, dude. Philly just pulled something out of their ass just now. Oh. Oh, Let me guess. dude. He wanted to what an Let me offensive guess, was it, rebound. Was it, was it on the floor shit. to get referee calls? Oh, uh, he Big it. D. Big D getting salty. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, did he, what, he actually fucking flopped? I'm not surprised. High game right now. Oh, you, see, I have a delay. I, I saw what Phil, I saw what the Sixers did. I didn't know they just tied it. Hold just, on. Let, let me, let me look, let me look and see. Hopefully it doesn't cut me off, but whatever. Yeah, no, it's tied now. Yeah. Let's go, Sixers. I just want to want to see if the Sixers win, just so you know. I want to see another uh, New York and Philadelphia. That's all right. It's all right. They're getting bounced anyway. <laughs> so, 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 Big D, I want to see. When do you think we're going to get eliminated? The first round or the second round or now? First. first. Yo, dude, no love of no love of. <laughs> of course the fuck of course the of course the fucking pussy is flopping for calls and he's shooting man, get, under 43%. Man, get Big D off this cut safe suit. Where the fuck is Kanye? What do you need him? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Eminem is on the fucking list, bro. Let me pull up that list again. I, I really don't believe that. I gotta look at the M's. It's on the fucking list. That has to be a troll job, dude. Come on. He's got a fucking daughter, for Christ's sakes. It, and some, some claim that it was a meme and that it's not real. And the actual list is one they will never know. But anyway, as I was saying, shooting 35%. Is this your king? Huh? Is this your king? Well, we're in the lead, so. Better than Hakeem, huh? Better than Shaq, huh? Better than Tobias, for sure. Oh, that's who you blame for every time the inevitable happens. It's always Tobias' fault. It's never anybody else's. Of course, baby. It's always his fault. Never anybody else's. Keep in mind, he was your leading scorer in your last elimination games last year. Yeah, when we were getting our asses handed to. Yeah, when Joel and Choker was shooting 27% in back-to-back -back elimination games. It's funny how he shows up when it never matters. It's garbage time in the fourth quarter, and he shows up. Fuck Tobias Harris, man. <laughs> Obviously, you should have kept Jimmy Butler. Obviously, I'm one of the first people to tell you you should have kept Jimmy Butler over him, but whatever. Man, what? Tobias Harris over me? You should have kept... No, I mean, you should have kept Jimmy Butler over him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he said that, quote, Tobias Harris over me? He actually and said I, that? Yeah, he said that. What, <laughs> honestly, it's funny. I'll show you that clip. <laughs> Is this your king? Huh? Tobias? Is this your king? Oh, I'm so, uh, yes. I'm so saving. I'm so saving that clip and using it. Where is that clip? There it is. Uh, we need that. Even though, even though I, I'm probably gonna end up using it on LeBron too when he chokes. Oh boy. I, I mean, at least, at least LeBron with, too. with LeBron, you can at least make the excuse while well, he's in the twilight of his career, which is true. And he's and he's also had plenty of choke jobs in his prime. Prime example is 2001 against the Mavericks, when he got 11. outplayed by both JJ Barea and Jason Terry. You said 2001 is 2011. Not, oh, not, not my. I meant to say 2011. Here we go. <laughs> Tobias Harris over me. <laughs> <laughs> that is some wild shit. And by the way, the motherfucker. And by the way, that motherfucker owns Washington. What's good, unknown? We get you guys to start the season. You feeling nervous? 
Your brain needs to get out of the dark cloud. Why? What's wrong with it? Yeah, come on, defense. You going through? A, what are you going through? A rough patch in your life? Keep that in house, sir. Keep that off YouTube. Sixers lead by three. Come on, baby. Who doesn't own Washington? <laughs> Who doesn't own Washington? Oh, Ooh, dude, Jacksonville like stole it, bro. Huh? They totally blocked a shot. Oh, you got hoed so bad. Wow. What a defensive yes! move. What a yes! defensive move. Suck it, Big D. Suck it. Son of a bitch, man. Come Suck back it. and see me when you win the title. You're going to choke in the first round anyway. Fuck. Oh, oh, hush, Big D. <laughs> Let no. me have my moment. <laughs> nah, win the fucking title. And you're right. not going to. Because right. your leader's right. a fucking pussy and a choker. T time for the Knicks to play the Sixers. I'm ready. Let's Fuck. fucking whoop go. Their, and you'll whoop their asses. Fuck, fuck you, Sixers. <laughs> Damn right. Get these fucking NBA Cowboys the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tell me they don't act like fucking Cowboys fans. Come on. I dare somebody to fucking debate me on that. Come on. You got uh -oh. nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. They I, celebrate I, every, I small, never even they celebrate thought of every that small shit. moment. They act like every year's their year. They prop their overrated leader of a team up with all-time legends. Believe they, it or not, they, start, they, always, they celebrate regular season shit, but they never believe, do shit when it matters. Believe it or not, we made it past the second round in the 21st century. Yeah, only once. <laughs> they've only they've only done it twice since 1984, and keep in mind that's four decades. That's a generational that's curse. That's bad. That's a generational curse right there. <laughs> Who doesn't own Washington? No, it's generational incompetence. Yeah. You know who doesn't own Washington? Chicago, sadly. Yeah. Neither does Jacksonville. Sorry, Jaguar man. Wow. The only I didn't make it. Oh, it's okay. You can cry. Okay, okay. You can stop now. The good old Washington coconut heads. <laughs> is, that, is that a Nickelodeon show? Yeah, it that's is. classified. Alexa, Nis Alexa Nicholas has had a beef with with uh, the the main cast of that. Devin Werkheiser. Mad at, at most. Yeah, I got to ask Big D this. Do you think Dan Schneider is the biological father of Jamie Lynn Spears' kid? Honestly, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. I think he's the all father know, of two all children. Wins, all I know is... Alexa Nicholas is still beefing with Jamie Lynn to this day. That's fucking wild, bro. He he's the father of two children, Jamie Lynn Spears, uh, kid, and then Amanda Bynes' kids. Some years we earlier, don't, we don't know and that. Someone, we don't. I, I can't. I can't say much about Amanda Bynes' abortion. I, I don't. We can't prove that. Dude, you should see some of the outfits she was wearing in the show. They're, they're look at you go and look back at it, it's fucking suspect. Oh, dude, Give Penelope w was Penelope Taint not suspect enough? That was uh, that already that was already a red flag. Although that was a although that was something they could easily get over people's heads, but I think the bigger red flag was that fucking outfit she was wearing. She was pretty much dressed like a fucking prostitute half of the time. Oh, rest in peace to my guy. Yeah, Jason David Frank gone too soon, man. Was that the black? Was that the Black Ranger from Dino Thunder? Correct me if I'm wrong. Jason David Frank? No, that's the original Green Ranger, bro. Oh, oh, never mind. There was another Ranger named Tommy. I think he was the Black Ranger from D uh, Dino Thunder. There were so many shows back then. And Jason David Frank made an appearance on almost all of them. He looks like a Backstreet Boy. Well, it was the '90s. <laughs> Yo, What's that up? caught me off guard. I God damn it! I want that deck God back. damn it, Big D. My mom I want that deck. Power Rangers too. I'm sorry, y'all. I want Yo, that deck montage that shit, bro. <laughs> well, it is the '90s. <laughs> I want that decade back. 
Yes. With everything you know, that I went want that right. decade back. I want that decade back just to beat With, the fuck out of Dan Schneider, bro. I want it Can back have, to go all the I want it back to go all go to all the damn clubs and be a pimp. I want it back. Just so that now that we have the knowledge of awareness, we can apply that to the '90s. Everything. Yeah, we will just go wherever we went wrong, and Nickelodeon and find, is definitely and, and, one of them. And you were Bro. far more likely to run into my type of girls, and then especially those who look like Feruza Balk in her prime. And not even just the sexual allegations. Think about how much knowledge we have on Al Qaeda right now. We could stop Osama bin Laden before he even gets started. Keep in mind that keep in mind that he was fucking trained by our CIA. That's crazy. Fucking a, bro. So where did he get all the uh, the armed weapons from? The fucking Pentagon, the military industrial complex. That wow, ain't no we, surprise. We were loose, dude. We've been uh, the U.S. has been funding both sides of nearly every war since World War One. That's crazy. Keep in mind, they're the, they're the, they're giving boatloads of fucking money to the likes of Israel, Iran, Russia, you name it. That's game. And, and by the way, I heard they just borrowed ninety more billion from China from the Chinese. Yeah, way to increase that debt. We're like what thirty five trillion in debt, dude. Think about it. you could have ended homelessness in America, bro. Yeah. Snacks yeah, but keep, still... in mind, keep in mind that, as George Carlin says, they don't want that because that works against them. They want well, more yeah, because there's no money practice. involved, and it's the and it's the iconic line. There, and they'll get it all from you, because they own this fucking place. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club, the same big club they're beating you over the head with. The same club that's in that fucking Epstein list. Wow. Exactly. The same one that the same one that owns every central bank in the world. <laughs> and by the way, some of the uh, middle some of the wars that happen in the Middle East are partially because certain Middle Eastern countries told the Rothschilds to pound sand. Prime examples are are Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein. They both told the Rothschilds to fuck off. And look what happened to them. Now I'm not saying that they're good people, but okay, get the, that the fuck out of my face. Not that it really matters. <laughs> Bring on the Sixers! Fucking beat Everybody. their ass. Or Philadelphia. Win a title. That song is faggot shit. <laughs> I, can, I can fucking. I can fucking. I could shove a crayon up my ass, squat over a piece of paper, and write about the song. In my ass. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that caught Kobe. me off guard. <laughs> oh man! All right, time to watch all elite wrestling now. <laughs> oh, that fucking fire! Fire! <laughs> yeah, they did. They did Dustin so fucking dirty, bro. I was a little pissed get off. Get the fuck out of there. Come home yeah. and be once again. Go, Dust. Cut for one final. All Alright. I, I, rem I remember when Gold does quote, did that stuttering quote. fucking gimmick. That shit was funny as hell. The oh, you mean the ew, 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 ew. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what you never heard of it? Yay, yay, yay. Dude, that gimmick Man, was, that like, shit, gimmick shit, had shit, me shit, fucking dying, bro. He said he said uh, Dustin said that they got that from a Jerry Springer episode. Or he had a bunch of kids with Tourette. <laughs> no way. And Dustin was just laughing his ass off. I'm sorry, I got let I got electrocuted a while back, but I'm doing a little better now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yes. I think, I think I don't even think that was a work with Triple H laughing. I think that was real. 
No, nah, dude, she, he broke Triple H that day. Oh, yeah, Triple H was He broke guy. him, dude. <laughs> so, cock, 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 cock. Dude, I'd be laughing too, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have been one of the few times you would have got... I'm shocked they didn't put him in a segment with The Undertaker in an attempt to try to get him to break. They've yeah. been trying to get Undertaker to break for the longest no, time. No, only, only William Regal was able to break The Undertaker. When did that happen? I think it was like during Survivor Series pay-per-view where like The Undertaker made like a shocking return and he started like fucking everyone up. And the last oh, person yeah, that was, he was going to tombstone, yeah, and 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 he was going to tombstone William Regal, and William Regal did like an awkward like uh, he tried to help him out with the tombstone, but he he put himself in an awkward position, and and Taker was looking at Regal like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Ric Flair, I believe, got him to break unintentionally. I think during oh, his please. retirement. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of in a way. I mean, you would you would think the Undertaker just had to break character and like just pay homage, though. Yeah, because that was a very big day for Ric Flair. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, oh man, like the the Epstein's, the Dan Schneiders, the Vince McMahon's, the P Diddy's, everyone's getting it, bro. What up, Seahawks? Eddie? This is the type of shit I'm talking tonight. about. This is the big reset that we need in life. Oh, 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 hold up, back up. That's another one of the uh, World Economic Forum's slogans: "The Great Reset." The quote: "You will own nothing, and you will be happy." You see, you, 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 one of That's the one I'm of the, I will be one happy of the if parts of the this reset. parts of the uh, the what you're seeing already with the increasing gas and them talking about wanting to replace all the gas vehicles with electric vehicles. That's part of Agenda 2030 oh, because they fuck. they want they want vehicles that they can remotely shut off at any time they want, just like how they want digital currency. That's a loophole. So they, can freeze your, so they can freeze your assets whenever they want. That's a loophole. They, they partially, they kind of already do that. Yeah. Canada is notorious for doing it. They did it with the fucking truckers. Blame and Canada. Blame Canada. And, Bra and Brazil is shutting, is freezing people's assets for speaking out against their corrupt regime. Oh, by the way, I heard that mid. They're saying that Midnight Green is banned in that country. Fucking Christ. Wow. They did say that. But I don't know. I don't know if uh, Kelly Green is, but I don't know. It might be a situation where the, the Green Bay might, the, both teams end up wearing their throwbacks or something like that. They said something I, about it's, it's offensive to Brazil because it's, I don't, I, I need to look that some up. Fucking, some fucktardery. It's just I, I, I just think, I, and I'm just putting it out there, I think Kelly Green would be the way to go against the Packers because they have rich history with that color with them. Ooh, it's official. Round one of the NBA playoffs. Knicks and Sixers. Fuck Let's you. Go. Fuck you. Fuck you, Bones. Fuck Beat you. Beat their asses. Fuck you and a whole bag of fucking <laughs> chips. And fuck, fuck you too, Elvia. Big D. Oh Fuck my too, god, buddy. I'm watching the fucking playoffs. Hell yeah, I'm linked. Yes, sir. I'm linked. <laughs> Let's go. I can't wait to laugh at you. I can't wait to laugh at you, Bones. And you I too, Big I D. can't wait to laugh at you. We're going to fuck you up. And pussy ass and is going to shoot 29% again. Randall's going to go off. <laughs> Brunson's going to go up. Man, Brunson going to rape you, motherfuckers. Oh, We're shit. Mega, please. You know it's the damn truth. <laughs> you guys are fucked, bro. I can't believe Meek Mill was fucking receiving. That's bullshit, bro. Ew. What the yeah. fuck? Oh. Ew. Catching, not pitching. He said, "Fuck my ass." Never for, all we know, for, my all we know, ass. for all we know, it was probably a fucking orgy. Uh, uh, oh, that's uh, disgusting. Uh. uh. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe Meek Mill was a fucking receiver, bro. I was on You know what I you know what I almost did? 
You know what I almost would have done? I probably would have used I probably would have used ill or from a few porn stars, but with the with only their head showing. But I I, I kind of had second thoughts about that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Here's like there, there, there's like a, there's like a few moments because there's like there's some weird fetish fetish scenes where one of them's like ew or gross and where they just have those fucking hilarious reactions. Of course, obviously you don't go to there for that. Billy Badass <laughs> says saying says that uh, saying ew means that you're a girl. Yeah, that that. that. That that kind of attitude is is comes from people that'll never be with anybody. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay. No, that's fucking crap. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> Smaggle with a dick. Smaggle with a dick. He ain't talking about me. I put a dick in the ear, dick in the ear, dick in the ear, dick in the ear. Fuck her in the eye, fuck her in the eye, fuck her in the eye. Blind the bitch, blind the bitch. Peter, what are you doing to my ear? I can't imagine P. Diddy at the parties, all the parties that he be hosting. Fact. You and now all my bitches. Fact. <laughs> Oh, Biggie that's fucked much. up. That Biggie is fucked much. up. He knew way too much. Yeah, that's why he was. That's why he was talked out of bulletproofing his suburban. That's something you could time travel to the nineties for. Tell Big D, uh, tell Biggie to bulletproof his suburban anyway, and tell him to take him off the bad boy. Yeah, right. Nah, he, he, he's got he's got to take uh, Diddy out. That's what yeah. Also. Dude, also, Puff that, I'm sure sorry, he, but Puff Daddy is a piece of shit at this point. Oh, he always yeah. was. He, he sold his soul to the devil for a shot at the big time, much like many of others. He didn't really make that many hits after uh, Biggie passed. Yo, yeah. dude, I cannot listen to the song Check by Meek Mill ever. These bitches fucking for a check, check, check. Motherfucking Meek Mill was fucking P. Diddy for a check, check, check. Hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> now the no the no name... you know what it is sodomy. It don't matter. That's still gay as hell. Yes, that's what is. that's what it is. That's, that's gay what it as is. hell. So sodomy, as in butt sex. Shit is fuck. <laughs> hey, one eight hundred butt sex. Butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, my yo. god. I was praying to God that Duke uh, dialed that number and it was a man on the other line. Man. No, that chick had no personality, bro. <laughs> that, oh, was, that was kind of lame. Yeah, I feel bad for Duke for calling that number. number. He had, dude, he had to change his number after that. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> That's fucked that up. Shit was fu yeah, man. Dude, That's fuck that up. number, bro. Um, yeah, this is my first time calling. My name is David. That's such a sweet a reference, bro. I loved it. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking amazing. That was genius, bro. Duke Bothers is an evil fucking genius. <laughs> I, oh, I thought it would just be mad that. at that. Just for that, dude. Oh, really, my God. I really low-key thought really David was going to be mad. You know, dude, I was shocked he wasn't going to go after him for that. <laughs> <laughs> I get pussy. Da -da 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 his, st his style of dancing went right with the beat. Oh, <laughs> dude, that video was classic. You had to been there around 2010, bro. Oh, man. I, was this so I had, no, I had this no internet. Platform, this I had platform, no internet. Baby. I had no internet. Was back out 20... of this world. I had no internet back then. Dude, it, this platform was out of this world, bro. I'll bet. I'll bet Simon it was. was talking about all the nostalgia that was happening like yesterday. Yes. 
and I was still under my parents in 2010. So I couldn't have any internet, couldn't even have a phone, couldn't have no oh, time. Yeah. Uh, on the uh, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the drug bugs couldn't even hold my the ball, couldn't pass, couldn't shoot, couldn't score at all. God, I love those fucking 1990s anti-drug commercials. Holy shit, they were fucking hilarious. Mm. Almost anything from the 90s was. Yes. Uh, too bad all that has broken my heart. Nickelodeon yeah. has broken my heart. That was literally my childhood in a fucking nutshell. And now it, it, Dan Schneider took a big shit. He gave us shit. The whole time he gave us bad pizza the whole time he gave us uh he gave us a whole big mountain of shit and i i man fuck dan mountain. schneider yeah just written fecal mountain fuck dan schneider bro i agree all those kids that got assaulted i feel bad for y'all seriously yeah. we need justice dude we need to get all these motherfuckers wiped out and have our kids reading books again Make books great again. Hooked on phonics. Yeah! Hooked on www.hookedonphonics.com When Alex Trebek was the fucking host of that commercial, bro. Yes, sir. God damn it, bro. What? Those were the fucking days to be alive. Yes. Hmm. Fuck, man. Dude, hmm. this, world, this world ain't never going to be the fucking same. Oh, what a, um, what a, what a, what a what fucking of this shit. And also, it, remember it never, in the 90s, read to achieve for the what, NBA? What? That, yeah. The read to achieve uh, program for the little kids? Oh, NBA my God. Stop. Stop. Dude, NBA Charles was Bar best. The fact that Charles Barkley is on that list now, that, oh, my God. I can't. I fucking I can't LeBron right now. I think LeBron is too. When a guy is banging you. Now keep in mind that it's, uh, some some have come forward and claimed uh, even the, some the, hardcore this, uh, like some people have actually said that that list was actually a meme and it's not the actual one. Nah, but dude, there's some names on there that That's, don't shock me at all like Demi Moore, Celine Dion, Rob Reiner, in. Wanda Sykes. Yeah, Wanda Sykes? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Courtney Love. Well, Courtney that's Cox. no fucking surprise. Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox is a little surprising, but Demi Moore and Celine Dion are definitely not a surprise at all. They're, they're both fucking psychotic, dude. Yeah. Kathy Griffin, that one's not surprising either. Remember that fucking severed Donald Trump head? I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, the severed Angelina Donald Jones. Trump head. Yet she was playing golf with that guy years before that. Yeah, that, 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 that's one of the things that's fake because hating on Donald is the quote unquote cool thing to do. I'm not saying yeah, he's not that's above. That's what it was, dude. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that he's above criticism because he's not. But the thing is, everybody was, uh, all of Hollywood and, and whatever were cool with him until he would no longer toe the line or they had somebody to be a fall guy for them. I'm guessing Miley Cyrus is on the list because she isn't, you know, uh, I acting all childish for Disney anymore. Yeah, I think I saw her on it, too. Well, I mean, look how she turned out. Come on. And by the way, she just said she's going to leave the country if Donald's elected. Most, uh... of, most, people, most people, by the way, that's code for somebody who has been to Epstein's Island, if you've noticed. It seems oh, wow. to be. For people Dude, that have now, I'm going to leave the country. Oh, no, oh, saying, I'm going... It's people saying, it's the ones that say, "Oh, I'm leaving the country if he's elected again." Meanwhile, you it's, see, you look up. Meanwhile, you see their name on the Epstein client list on, or at least that one. I'm telling Tom you, man, that's that, another example. Clooney's another example. The Epstein Island that should be like a museum for people to just go up to uh, the list of people and just be like, "Okay, I don't want to be like this guy or that woman." Holy shit, dude! I, I do. I'm so beside myself that nothing has fucking happened. Especially I'm not. Especially since that documentary fucking came out, bro. Oh, not. yeah. I, I fucking heard about that, dude. That's fucked up. I'm so, not. Because, I'm but, not. Because, they have, because you, when you have friends in high places, 
You're protected. That's disgusting, bro. I, I can't. That's I, why I, you, there's a reason you're never going to get accountability. There's certain things that are very hard to accept, and I, I can't accept that, dude. We need fucking justice. I am so distraught. Unfortunately, unfortunately you're not going to get it unless somebody's outlived their usefulness. I'm so fucking distraught, bro. I want to address this real quick. This dude got what? A, a fucking two week suspension or something like that for cheating on Nia Long and sleeping with somebody that was, you know, working with him. But he gets banned for life for gambling. Think about that. You want, you want to know? Oh, it gets worse. You want to know something fun? It's funny how uh, sports athletes aren't allowed to gamble, but yet politicians are allowed to insider trade. And That's I believe an there, was, there, was a former, there was a former NFL player or a current a, NFL player who pointed that out. I think he played for the Lions. Remember, remember Pete Rose? Yeah. Yeah. He's, there, if he ever gets it, if, he, if they ever induct him, it'll be posthumous. Post, yeah. That's how you say that word? It's per, it, Yeah, it's pronounced posthumous. Posthumous. I thought it was posthumous. Yeah. No, it's posthumous. So if you say schism, I say schism. Or schism. Schism. That's how it's pronounced? Oh, yeah, that was, that was the uh, Tool tribute band that me and Bones saw, or at least the that, back Yeah, end. that's right. Wow, how ironic is that? Yeah. Yeah, I they, know the piece is fit. I hope I hope you're down with going to the uh, Jersey Devil Fable Festival in May 4th because those two that I met at Ghost Mart who recognized that name, you would hit it off with them almost immediately. No, nah, because- I want to go to that. I want to. I'm going to tell the wife we're bringing the we're bringing the baby with us May 4th. We're we're checking that shit out. I and also, see that. Uh, oh, and another thing, if things actually do work out, and I'm. And this girl that I met online j- today, well, I actually knew her for, I met her for over a month. I haven't heard from her for an entire month because she said she was sick with the flu. And then she all of a sudden comes out today, say, hey, I want to go on a date or something. I said, hey, this is where I'm going to be on Friday and Saturday night. I can send you the link on how you can get your ticket. That's the only way they're going to let you in. And if, if, if she's actually what I'm, what I'm hoping she is. And things end up working out. Maybe she'll show up too. I don't know. I don't want to think that far ahead. But there's, but there are two. There, there's this vendor that I really want you to meet. I've plugged them on here before. They're called Dreadful Things. The dude is a huge Mushroom Head fan. They're, they're 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 a married couple, and she didn't even know who Mushroom Head was until she met him. <laughs> I can't believe they played Mushroom Head at fucking uh, QFT, QFT, bro. But probably, but keep in mind that was a place where that you could request songs. I requested Sepultura Subtraction. Mm. You know what I'm going to request the next time we go to one of those? I'm requesting Tens by Pantera, aka the theme song that Broly transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan two. Bones, what would be your suggestion? My my request next time I go, yeah. Uh, Shoots and ladders by Corn. Just 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 to be reminded of my kid. They're probably going to play that anyway. No, I know they are, and uh, and that's uh, that'll make my entire night. You know what? You want to know what they? You want to know what they always play? No matter where I go, even to the ones where they always play a bunch of techno. You want to know what they always play? Dragula by Rob Zombie. Oh, of course, of course. (laughs) Oh, just like how always, just like how they always play Blue Monday by New Order, and yeah. they always play. This one is very difficult for me to listen to because I'm alone. Enjoy the silence by Depeche Mode. That's their most overplayed track. You'll as recognize long, it if you hear it. As long as they don't play "Come Together" by the Beatles or anything, I'm good. No, they're not going to no, do it's, that. It's, not that it's, club. It's not psychedelic rock. Not that it's club. Good. No. I love no. that. I love overrated, that song. That Every time I hear overrated song. Every time I hear it, I always think of I always think of the Hell's Angels that got beat up in a Bronx tale. Yeah, so, that's such I, a I good like, fucking scene. I, hey, I like the song. Open. I like the song too, but it's overplayed like a motherfucker. Oh, mm-mm. I'll never forget the look on their faces, all eight of them. 
Ugh, one and one and one is three. Anybody can write those lyrics. I will never forget the look on their faces. All eight of them. The faces dropped. All the courage and strength is drained right from their bodies. They had a reputation for breaking up bars. Here's a little wild card really question for both of y'all. Stop cutting me off. <laughs> Stop fucking interrupting me. To quote Big Puss, stop fucking interrupting me. Ow! Don't oh. make me bring out the demo memes. <laughs> hey, stop fucking interrupting me. Yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> Let me try it again. I will never forget the look on their faces. All eight of them. Their faces dropped. All the courage and strength is drained right from their bodies. They had a reputation for breaking up bars, but they knew that instant they made a fatal mistake. This time they walked into the wrong bar. I love that. Uh, I, I love that scene. That and scene. then it changed. And it, but don't worry. At, at least in that scene, when he smashes the one dude up against the jukebox, the song changes to Ten Commandments of Love." <laughs> Step on his fucking head. Crack his fucking head open. Come here, you cocksucker. <laughs> All right, Leave them like the bums that they are. Up. Or when uh, Chaz Palminteri grabs the main guy and says, "Look at me. I'm the one who did this to you." Remember me. <laughs> so I got that a was Michael, card. That was right. Michael Francis's favorite part of the film. Or Hell at least yeah. the, or one of his favorite parts. Hell so yeah. I got, so I got a wild card question for both of y'all. What is y'all favorite song that ever came out of the Sopranos? Oh, that's a good one. I got Did a you lot. mean one that was well, they they feature licensed music or or a song that was played there. You mean a song that was featured in it? Yeah. I would say either "Woe" by Black Rob that played at least once, and there was also, and I think they played "Lick It Up" by Kiss once. Mm. Because keep in mind, there were like multiple recognizable songs that played. Living, living on a Thin Line by The Kinks. Okay. I gotta watch these uh, episodes. Dude, watch the fucking show. It's great. You, you'll see. You'll, rec you'll recognize some whenever you're I, would, the I will put club. that shit. I'm sorry. I love The Sopranos more than I love. I know I've been like big on Stranger Things, but The Sopranos are, are is like my all time favorite fucking show. For me, it's The Sopranos, Spartacus, Blood and Sand, and Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse, wow. The fucking Cartoon Network show? Yes. And by, the way, and by the way, clean Nathan up aisle six. Body, body, landslide. <laughs> and don't forget our special sale on every boat prone, broken chicken. I don't so think which, get were, which were all references to which were all references to Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, I don't think any any no Cartoon Network show will ever top Ed and Eddie. Now adult, eat your mattress. That was adult. That was Adult Swim, though. Yeah, and, Adult Swim was the shit. Back and then the, the voice of Nathan Explosion is actually the voice inspiration for my Halloween alter ego, mm -hmm. where he speaks in a death growl even when he's not singing. So and the voice, and straight. the voice cracks. So oh, let me get this straight. You put them in the, you put them in the boiler. They boil to death. They turn red, and then and they, they die. die. Yep. That is the most metal thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is complete sausage festival. But I like sausage festivals. No, I mean sausage festival is there's no good looking ladies to put their you knows in. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh. Hey, I'm Roxy the Clown. I do cocaine. Seriously, man, a lot of cocaine. Oh my god. See, uh, the, 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 I, those were those were the good cartoons, bro. I want, you know, I I want a hundred beers. I, I give us a hundred beers. We don't serve people who awaken lake trolls. <laughs> and the big lake troll was actually voiced by James Hatfield of Metallica. Mm. And you could tell by the way he roars. And the bartender was played by Kirk Hammett. And the Queen of Denmark was also voiced by 
when she tasted the uh, fro Mercury frosting, she was voiced by Kirk Hammond of Metallica. Ooh. They, uh, during season one, they got a lot of guest voices. Like they got King Diamond. They got George. Well, George Corp's Grinder Fisher was a recurring voice, the front man of Metallica, the front man of Cannibal Corpse, who wore a Death Clock T-shirt at a few Cannibal Corpse concerts when performing. Yeah, any anything on the new merch? Here's the new merch. This is time travel's face bag. Uh, <laughs> time travel face bag. Is that what I'm hearing? It looks like you have plastic bags on your heads. What are you doing? We're traveling through time. He puts a face bag on and travels through time. What do y'all think about this? Adult Swim over Cartoon Network. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, so fuck you, yeah. You also have Aqua Teen. Yeah. You, you also have Aqua Teen. You also have the Boondocks. Yeah. I like you. This is Aqua yeah, Teen Uncle yeah. Force, and this is my stone cold lock of the century of the week. I like you, and I won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be working at the Wendy's flipping burgers. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and that was and that was fucking Snoop Dogg saying that. Nigga, you yeah. gay. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> Nigga, you gay. <laughs> we was looking for weapons of mass destruction. Did you ever find them? You know goddamn well we ain't find them. But it's like I say, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. What? What country are you from? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? So you understand the words that I'm saying to you? Yeah. <laughs> the, I, what I'm saying is that there are known knowns, but there are also un there are known unknowns, but there are also unknown unknowns. Things that you don't know that you don't know. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was look I was looking for bitches, but they had a I, when we was over in Iraq, I was looking for bitches, but they had that carpet over them. I couldn't see what they looked like. All, like it was, all they was exposed was their eyes, but that wasn't enough for me because, you know, I, I removed that carpet and I see a tragedy. <laughs> Jesus. I see piss coming. I moved. She saw piss coming. She stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the boondocks I, was fucking pure savagery, bro. I present to you the Luther. A, a full if R. Kelly goes to jail, I'll piss on your cat. A full pound burger patty covered in cheese, grilled onions, five strips of bacon, sandwiched between two donuts, two Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> Jesus. I can see... I can see Big D being White Shadow from the Boondocks. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be all mysterious, checking up on Huey. Bro, stop. <laughs> oh, shit. And then, and there was, all, there was also, I didn't really watch that many episodes, but there was also Venture Bros. Yes. Wasn't Futurama part of Adult Swim? I think so at one point. I'm not sure. Funny thing is, at Adult one Swim point was they were, yeah. Adult Swim was ultimately the channel that got Family Guy uncanceled. Wait a minute. I think it was also part of Comedy Central too. Futurama is part of Comedy Central. Yeah. And the thing is, Adult Swim ran reruns of the canceled Family Guy, and it got so popular to the point where Family Guy was brought back. Runka, lunka, dunka, dee, 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 dee. You must not ask about the secret ingredient. Yeah, that's right. Fuck Nickelodeon Cartoon Network for the win, baby. Let's go. Grunka, lunka, dunka, dee, dee. Darn gar, Shut the hell up. Fuck all that shit, bro. A dicky? They still make these? <laughs> Stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> booga, 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 booga. <laughs> 
Sometimes the <laughs> funny thing is sometimes he doesn't wear the mask. He'll just make his eyes real big. <laughs> Although Eustace had one moment of humanity where Courage broke the mirror and he just saw his younger child self. Just pop Eustace over the head. Oh, what did I what do? What did I do? <laughs> you stupid dog. That's what I tell him all the time. The you remember the, the Cartoon Network Jeff. show Two Stupid Dogs? Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. <laughs> yep, that that's it. <laughs> there was one that was also very cow and chicken was suspect as hell. Oh hell yeah, dude! They yeah. the red guy was gay as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah, the fucking red devil. Speaking of Comedy Central, does anybody remember a show called uh, Drawn Together? Not really. Uh, no, nah, dude. The best comedy show was The Man Show, which exposes fucking Jimmy Kimmel to the fucking fullest, dude. No yes. wonder no wonder it ain't up anymore. Of course it's not up anymore. Dude, it, it, it defeats everything that Jimmy Kimmel stood for in his own stupid little fucking talk show. He is the biggest hypocrite in Hollywood I've ever definitely fucking one, seen definitely in my life. One of them. Definitely he one, is of, one of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen on Hollywood. Oh, by far. He and I've already, and I've mentioned this before, and I'll mention it one more time. He also did blackface. And and you remember that skit? We you you missed it earlier. Uh, no, where you hide and play the skit of wife? School, yeah, I was here bro. for that. I was here for that. A lot of them are fucking. A lot of them are fucking corporate sellouts trying to, sh in a pathetic attempt to shed their old image or something like that. Dude, I remember but, when Joe Rogan was the fucking replacement for the man show, and they fucking canceled it. Wow. Of course. Because he kept it real. Still does. Dude, Joe Rogan is one of the smartest dudes on the fucking planet. And his voice is amazing as far as U UFC. Yeah. Although, he has one of the most disturbingly accurate AI the, when they, you know, those AI voices that happen on uh, that uh, surface on YouTube, the one for yeah. Joe Rogan is painfully accurate. It sounds yeah. almost exactly like him. We, yeah, that AI thing is some scary shit, bro. Yeah, and now you're going to see rappers using it in the future. Yeah, Ice Cube already said, uh, 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 "No fucking way." And before you know it, somebody's going to walk up to you and say, "Your clothes, give them to me now." <laughs> Yo, seriously, bro. Hey, Bones, Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel is from New York. Ooh. Oh, nah, fu fuck him. Dude, he, <laughs> he, he disgusts me to fucking death. I'm sorry. Me too. Me too. Almost all of them do. I'm most disgusted by him, Stephen King, Rob Reiner. Wait, Stephen King? Oh, he said. Uh, keep in the mind, author? he wants. Yeah, he's always, he's always, he's always sucking Biden's dick on Twitter. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, no, no, dude. Mind, Stephen actually, King is like my favorite author. Wants, if it wasn't for Stephen King, I would have never seen The Shining. That's my all-time favorite horror film. Here's Johnny. <laughs> wow, Stephen King Call too, me. son of I'm a bitch. Embarrassing, embarrassing. Hey, how do you think I feel with freaking Francis Ford Coppola recently? Oh, no. God you know, damn, Once the Nicholas dude. pointed this out, uh, how he protected a pedophile who was the director for a film called Clown House. No. He was paying for the motherfucker's legal fees while he was in jail. John Wayne Gacy. No, it wasn't John Wayne Gacy. It was somebody else. I forget his name. It was the guy who directed Clown Show, a clown, a clown house. Still, I, I still think of John Wayne Gacy, bro. Especially I, after I watching his, I think the fucking documentary. Were, I think his last words were "suck my dick" or something like that before he was executed. Let's see. It was directed by Victor Salva. Yes, Victor Salva. That's who it was. Sick motherfucker. Damn. Oh, and Coppola was protecting him for years. That fucking tore me open because. He's behind, not only is he behind Godfather, but he's behind my favorite film of all time, 
Apocalypse Now, and also Gary Oldman Dracula, which is very popular in my in my new communities. And I'm kind of an idiot, but I kind of got the shiny this the name The Shining confused with The Craft, which is an also which is another popular one because of Prime Feruza Balk. That's wild. There were a few. There were actually a few pictures of her up for sale at Ghost Mart. Uh, there was also a few Captain Spaldings. Well, fuck you very much. <laughs> Does anybody remember a show called Reno Nine One One? Yes, I think so. Yes, that was with the gay cop, the blondie cop, and it, they they would just make fun of cops. That's all they They're, did. Yeah, it was the thick chick too. Yeah, no, nah, I, I I didn't care too much for that show. Yeah, it yeah. It, it, it didn't exactly catch on. They yeah. even tried putting it on much music, and it was still a fail. Nah, bro, the same wrestling channel, but we're just, you know, talk about everyday life and how it's fucked up. Exactly. Ain't I no mean, bubble you could, you could make it a wrestling channel if you want to talk about Vince McMahon's fucking allegations. We could talk about how all Meek Mill is about that. All I can say about that is that was one of the best things that's ever happened to WWE. If we're really being <laughs> <honest>. <laughs> We could this talk about you, how you're not old, lying though. His we old out of touch ass has been fucking dragging it into the ground for years. No, that's so facts. facts. We could talk about how Meek Mill was screaming to the rock, get up. That is so disgusting. Prac probably practice for his initiation. Get up. And, now, and by the way, do uh, you see some of these rappers that come out where uh, started to come out wearing dresses? That was part of the initiation too, oh. into the Illuminati. Yeah, you, 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 nev you never saw Fifty Cent wear a fucking dress. Little Nas X. Hell no. He got an S on his chest. Now that's a semi-auto. Mm. I walk around with an S on my chest. Now that's a semi-auto. DMX says something about uh. There was a line in, uh, damn it, something, 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 fucking a man, something like that. How you gonna explain fucking a man? Yeah, that one. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? For those who, and that's the cats, for those who've been to jail, that's the bitch with the Kool-Aid on his lips. Mm. I think I think he said, and puff. Oof. It's like How they were trying to, to warn us. Fucking so, year. which means DMX was taking shots at Puff. It just hit me. DMX was taking shots at Puff. It's Puff like they've been Puff trying Puff to warn you for years. That's a bit. For those who've been to jail, that's the bitch with the Kool-Aid on his lips and Puff. How you gonna explain fucking a man? Puffy getting robbed like I a bitch. I show no love. Pack. I show no love to homo thugs. Puffy getting robbed like a bitch to hide that fact. He did some shit he shouldn't have did, so we ride for that. It's all fucking there, huh? Yep. Man, we have been so fucking blind for too damn long. Intention. It was, the, and that was the plan. Surprise, Vince McMahon wasn't on it. Yeah, explain that. Completely unrelated, but. To quote Fred Durst, Aguilera never gave me head. <laughs> <laughs> For those who know what I'm talking about. That was a big mess with the Fred Durst and Aguilera situation, bro. Th that was that was actually a response to an Eminem lyric, obviously. And they don't hate you. They they just think you're corny since Christina played you. And how dare you motherfuckers try to diss me back. That's a sissy act. <laughs> Yo, dude, Eminem's diss on Limp Bizkit was fucking wild, bro. He what I was thinking was... What oh, I was my thinking, God. No, what was on my mind was, shit, Christina Aguilera better switch me chairs so that I could sit next to Carson Daly and Fred Durst and hear him argue over who she gave head to first. Little bitch put me on blast on MTV. Yeah, he's cute, but I think he's married to Kim. 
I'll sit down on an audio and MP3 and show the whole world how you gave him an MVD. Ah, <laughs> sick of you little boy and girl. Bruce. All you do is annoy me. So I have been sent in here to destroy you. There's millions of them just like me, you cuss like me, you just don't give a fuck like me, you dress like me, walk, talk, and act like me. It just might be the next best thing, but not quite not me. Not quite me. Mm. Uh, fucking Eminem on that fucking... That, uh, it, that's just a rough draft. I hope that's not... I think I, I heard that it's mere, is it's merely a meme from Reddit. Uh, fucking Eminem, dude. I don't have a daughter. I only, I only visit Reddit, I mean, shamefully, I only visit Reddit for fucking leaked photos that aren't as easily accessible. You're a quitter, and you bitter, because I came along. Now that the house of pain are gone. <laughs> Don't talk about my life. That's Little daughter, I'm going to kill, kill, kill you. I'm going to yeah, kill you. <laughs> Dorks, what is this, Ed and Eddie? <laughs> what up, meet the Mets? What's up, Mets? <laughs> I have you join a panel if if you want. I'll, I'll send the link. Fuck Dan Schneider. Facts. Yeah. Fuck. I guess it's a free for all now. All all of these motherfuckers. They 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 all fucking should be in jail. Fuck they the, should fuck fucking the, fuck the entire shadow syndicate. Dude, I am so done with Hollywood, bro. It's not even funny. I've been done with I've been done with them since 2017. <clears throat> and not to mention they don't they, they're so morally and creatively bankrupt anyway. They don't come up with any good ideas anymore. They haven't had a good idea since the late OOs. Yeah. <sighs> good times. Back when snacks were 25 cents. Exactly. Back when they still had go tarts. Back when they had those fruit roll ups. They still got fruit roll ups. Yeah, but they're not as good. Or as big. Yeah, dude, Dunkaroos. They turned Dunkaroos into shit, bro. I was yeah, telling they kinda, Bones. They brought it back and now it's complete ass. I was telling Bones, like every morning I would ask my dad for 50 cents just to get the fruit roll ups at lunch or the Rice Krispie Streets or them pretzels. Yeah. And this is for back me, when I was living in Philly. Oh, dude, you could go to any bodega in New York City. You can get it for 50 cents, bro. Now? Yeah. Dude, go really? go find out. Dude, go to any bodega in New York. And if they got that candy out in display, you I guarantee you, you'll get fruit by the foot for 50 cents. <laughs> You say, y'all yeah. are funny. Y'all should do a podcast. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Problem, the, problem is, the problem with getting those is when you get uh, when I get the big when I get the uh, box from the grocery store, I have a tendency of eating the whole thing in one sitting, so I just avoid it altogether. Speaking of retired, does anybody else miss Blockbuster like I do? I miss the fuck. Me out too, of Blockbuster, bro. Me too. From Blockbuster, how the fuck you do that? They got Reese's monkeys working as managers over there. <laughs> Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my dad used to go there every Friday to get us games. My son. Max. That's when. That's when I rented the 2003 Hulk video game. Nice. Oh, dude, I was able to catch up with Dragon Ball Z by going to Blockbuster. They had a lot of shit you could rent there. Yep. Anybody miss Toys R Us? My son, the liar, had been fired two weeks ago from Blockbuster. How the fuck you do that? They got Reese's Monkeys working as managers over there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Tony's one-liners were fucking fantastic. Yeah, they were. You know, I'll have you know, there are more Nobel Peace Prize winners in the San Francisco Bay anywhere, the San Francisco Bay area than anywhere else on the planet. Nobel Prize for what? Pack and fudge? <laughs> you give them a piece of paper, tell them to draw a circle, fold the paper in half, or give it back. Th these guys can't do that. How about you just wipe your ass with the paper? They'll know you're a whack job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I wish he was still here with us. Facts. Oh, uh, dude. Rest in peace, James Gandolfini. Yes, sir. I, dude, I've what's what's so ironic is that uh, James uh, Gandolfini wanted to beat the shit out of Harvey Weinstein, yep. bro. Yup. 
in reality? Yes. 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 And it was over it, something. It's like he called it, bro. Although it was over something small, but at least that's what we were told. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the film that I, a film that I recommend is Last Castle. That's one oh, with that, a. That's, that's a Gandolfini film. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Ru Mark Ruffalo's in that too. He's another. He's another head case. He's another one of them Holly weirdos. Probably another one on the fucking Epstein list. Supposedly, I wouldn't be surprised. I think Robert Downey Jr. was on that Reddit list too. Yeah, he's he on, is. He he's is. on the current list now. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is on that thing, bro. Yeah, I need a close up. And and he technically did blackface on fucking uh, Tropic Thunder. No Everybody. way. How how the fuck did Rihanna get on the fucking list? Oh, come on, man. Everybody Rihanna knows. is a fucking freak and a half, dude. Everybody knows you never go full retard. <laughs> Ask Sean Penn. He went full retard, walked away with nothing. Uh, and I think Sean, on the list. And Sean Penn was there, too. Fucking Forrest Gump became a fucking ping pong winning contest. That ain't retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, my Raymond, God. Just call oh, one retarded. One shit. ping pong. One ping pong. One retarded. What's that good, Rick? Retarded? How you doing, man? Got a lot of new people coming in. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So no one's surprised. Went. Bulls ain't beating the Hawks. You went, full, you went full retard. Never go full retard. He said Robert Downey on the list. No way. Come on, man. Yeah, hey, bro. On. Take this exact one with a grain of salt. Maybe Disney's trying to frame him. I wouldn't be surprised, even though Disney is known for having fucking pedophiles. Known for fucking child trafficking. He said Multiple he'll never go back to have Disney. Been, have been arrested over the number of years. Bunch of no names, though, but still. Bro, fuck Disney. Yeah, fuck Disney, man. Absolutely. They fucking, they fucking ruined Star Wars, in their own, and they ruined Marvel. Dude, George Lucas has to be sick to his fucking stomach for giving it to Disney, bro. He, George yeah. Lucas. Has to be sick right now. Although he did recent, although he did recently come out defending Bob Iger, but still. But I think he was just pet protecting his sh his stock investment or something. I'm not sure. Oh, of course. But it, it's just a complete shit heap. Everything goes to shit. Who gives a Who gives a shit about that game? Either one of them is ain't going far. Uh, that's not saying much, eh, Fizz? Yeah, that's a really low bar. Yeah. He said, oh, no, Jim Carrey's on a list. That sucks. Yeah, he made it on like there. I said, like I said, keep it with, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Although Carrey did recently come out a few years ago defending socialism. Those are the ones you really want. Those are the ones you really want to keep your eye on. Is anyone in Hollywood, which is a vast majority of them, fucking defending socialist, progressive political viewpoints, or anyone that defends or anyone that supports Joe Biden? Mm -hmm. Those are the ones you want to look out for. Oh yeah, y'all did say Sarah Silverman was on the list. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's not surprising. I think I saw Will Smith too, but Madonna's on there. Yeah, that's of not course surprising. Madonna's on there. Oh yeah, the one who threw up, who threatened to blow up the White House and faced zero crimes for that. <laughs> zero chart. Who faced yeah, zero charge? Yeah, everyone tends to forget about that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be. I wanted to blow up the White I wouldn't House. be that, fucking. That, that, that had to have been the dumbest shit I've ever heard. In my I life. wouldn't be fucking surprised if that piece of shit. Uh, I forget. 
Jane Fonda was on that list, I would be fucking surprised. I'm still surprised he's ultimate, that he's the ultimate scum of the earth. I'm still surprised the insurrection was somewhat of a success. That was a that was a fucking that was a fucking staged setup. Yeah. And by the way, there were fucking riots happening on January twenty first, twenty seventeen, which everybody likes to forget about. They the thing is both sides uh, both sides of the uh, spectrum have their own brands. And their own pieces of propaganda. They pick and choose and they cherry pick at their own convenience. When in reality, they're both fucking trash. And yeah, neither pe people of forget that Trenton, New Jersey fucking rioted in 2020 over the George Floyd thing. Almost every, almost every fucking country did. Almost every fucking state did. But I'm not necessarily talking about that. I'm talking about January 21st, 2017, which was Donald's inauguration. Uh, but yet... But yeah, but people want to forget about that. Let but they want to act like that. No, I don't think J I, I think I saw JT, but I'm not positive. He's not on there. Which means which means no one really knows anything. I don't think he is either. No. It it, it was just a wardrobe malfunction, y'all. Don't worry. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Better have you naked by the end of this song. The only good thing about Disney was watching the Mickey Mouse beat up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he's no. a Cowboys fan. You don't fucking talk to me like that. <laughs> oh, did, uh, South Park portrays them so fucking accurate. It's not funny. <laughs> the Illuminati is watching this. Or, or he's like, who's the asshole? Which one of you decided to come out and start bad mouthing the Chinese government? <laughs> <laughs> well, they do exploit children for their own. There must have burned to show why uh, Nickelodeon's better than Disney. As far as behind the scenes, y'all talking about, I'm washing my hands with that. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> Watch away, Illuminati. I'm just glad you're watching. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm sure they are. Yeah, they're gonna try Illum their best Illuminati, to shut everybody up. Illuminati, Pentaveret, Cabal, many names, same source. Dude, all of it, all of it's fucking true. The name, the name Pentaveret. You actually hear that in "So I Married an Axe Murderer." Yep, and they're gonna try to shut us all down, shut us all up, and cancel the awareness. I don't think I don't think so. It just depends on how much of a threat a certain platform is. Yeah, depends on what you mean by threat. Kind of like like we actually have a chance to make any real change, but we do not, unfortunately. Yeah, it's like it's like Zarbon once. It was like Zarbon say, "Don't flatter yourself." What Frieza feared was the entire saying race going up against him. You all alone, you're no threat to anybody. Yeah, more like Ice Cube telling us, shut up, bitch. Or The Rock saying it, shut up, bitch. <laughs> I, use that on, I use that on Twitter all the time. <laughs> I also use Tony saying, I also use Tony Soprano saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I use it on politicians all the time of Tony saying, stick it up your ass. <laughs> Or for Pelosi, I say, I say, fucking demented old bat. Oh my God, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Let me see if she's on the list. <laughs> she has. No, but no, but Hillary. I think uh, Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton are. Well, Bill Clinton's been there like so many fucking times. I mean, it's just destined for those two to be there. Nancy Pelosi. She is not there, unfortunately. Not that we know of. She's up to no good. She's a snake in the grass. Yeah, but almost all of them are. It, most notably for insider trading. And that's a whole nother thing. The other, uh, all the fucking ones that benefit from insider trading as well as from war, from endless war. 
I wonder if Megan Good is on this list. God forbid. No. Megan Good. Yo, Megan Good was hot, man. She still is. Still is. Although, I, I think the fucking current speaker is even worse. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I can see Megan Good just being like, yo, where are you hiding? You tripping. Why would you want me on the list? Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that on us. You are not paralyzed. I'm so <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> you want to know what the, you want to know what's going on? You want to see what my life is? Don't you stick that knife in your leg? You want to see what's going on? <laughs> we'll use this knife to pry it out. Now you got two knives in my leg. <laughs> oh my god, I can walk. <laughs> you can walk. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I kind of brought it because there was a techno version of Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones that played at Warehouse on Watts last month. And I was actually having a conversation with somebody about how I prefer the French version, which played in Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh, it was the uh, it was the it was the montage of Jean Girard winning all those races because it's the French guy. So they use the French version of Paint It Black. Thank God they don't overplay that. No, they don't. It, they didn't play that the other Saturday. No, it, 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 the the places I go to, they're not going to play old school psychedelic rock. They're not going to do it unless they have like a techno remix, or or a uh, new metal or a new metal cover of it. Yeah. Stephen Hawking said, "Oh yeah, it's time to get jiggy with it." <laughs> oh, he was on. He was on. A, he was on an official list recently. Uh, he was on an official Epstein list recently. I like this Rick Cat. You an all star, man. Thanks for tuning in. He said, "I got real cheeky with it." I don't know. I can't do the computer voice, but whatever. Don't you put that evil on me? Don't you put that on us? You are not paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you sub the jazz music? Was it not pleasant for you? No one plays jazz here at the pit stop, okay? So why was this song on the jukebox? We keep it on there for profiling purposes. We also got the pet shop boys and seal. Got a funny thing good southern accent. Shop boys and something they actually do play on goth nights. <laughs> you got a pretty but good southern accent. Oh, George Clooney too? Yeah. No, nah, that ain't no dude. Think of all He's the young guy. women that he dated, bro. There's another there's another reason. Yeah, it's another guy who threatened to leave the country if Donald was elected again. Mm. Yeah, Donald's gonna that comes, expose everybody. Yeah, yeah, Hank Hank said that same shit and so did Miley. <laughs> Dude, they are it's amazing how they're so they feel so threatened by him. Or it just seems that way and he's just he's the perfect fall guy either way. Yeah. Although my main criticisms of Donald were are his horrible response to the virus in 2020 and also the fa his horrible stance on the second amendment. His quote, I like taking the guns early. Take the guns first. Due process later. People forget that. Jesus. Blame China. Blame China, they say. Yeah, the China oh, they, virus. They definitely, they definitely deserve their part in it. But guess the what? The China US virus, the Spanish flu. The, the, fucking... US just, the U.S. is just as fucking responsible as anybody else. Because it was, yeah, fucking, first of all, it was fucking man-made. China Much like doesn't deserve... Was. China doesn't deserve full accountability for it, though. Imagine saying that it, it all came from a dead bat in China. Or so they say. It was fucking man-made. We I all totally need to wash our hands. It was man-made. It was man-made just like AIDS was. <laughs> AIDS. The, the gay virus. <laughs> AIDS? 
Nobody's, Nobody's got AIDS. Nobody's got AIDS. <laughs> and I don't want to hear that word again. Uh, I totally <laughs> caught that. That was awesome. It's all that weight loss. AIDS? <laughs> Nobody's got AIDS. I don't want to hear that word in here again. Everybody needs AIDS. But we got to have AIDS before we pee in our eye socket. <laughs> Goddamn Jared Fogle. <laughs> Nobody's got the coronavirus. I don't want to hear that word in here again. <laughs> but we got to have AIDS before we pee in our eyes suck it. Mm. I love South Park. <laughs> yeah, uh, me too. It, it was the Christmas critters. They were hey. in imagination land. What the fuck is a fizzle talk? Don't be dissing Jersey like that, bro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Motherfucker. You know, exactly, exactly. Fizz. That, by the way, that would be a really stupid decision for you to do. That would be, no offense, but that would be a real stupid decision on your part. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I do like it here, but I can understand why people wouldn't like this state. No, uh, there, 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 there's, there's its ups and there's its downs. Even though, in order to get in order to get what I want, I have to. Although I have to head to Philadelphia in order to get what I want. Woke up this morning. Got yourself a gun. Bop, bop, bop. Woke up this morning. Got some gabagoo. Then I woke bop, up bop, the bop. next day to get some gabagoo. Keep waking up. Keep getting different types of gabagoo. Even got some gabagool from a Scooby Doo. <laughs> Yo, Big D, did you see the Many Saints in Newark? I seen parts of it. I love. I, I love how Michael Gandolfini. He accurately does a lot of James's body language. Yeah, I did like that too. I, I'm always. I'm always being accused. Hmm. Oh, or when, poor or you. When says, or when he says, what'd you say? I want to go to college. I can't go, go home with shit like this. Although I think it kind of, I think it, I heard that it sort of contradicts the line. Even I managed to get through school without getting expelled. Yeah, true that. <laughs> that was probably an Easter egg reference, dude. Yeah, hey Fizz. Go ahead. I heard I'm a play. I'm heard I'm gonna be captain. You don't have the makings of a varsity athlete. <clears throat> yeah, hey Fizz. The driving is really bad down here. They have no idea. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, dri drivers are pretty bad up here in Jersey and in PA as well. No, nah, New York bad. drivers. They're are really the bad in New York. New York drivers, they fucking New suck. York, uh, you go to New York, it's the fucking nightmare. Dude, you New know, York fucking it, sucks By the way, drivers. it's a it's a constant it's a you you go to war over a fucking lane. Seriously. Yeah. Facts. It'd, it'd be crowded as fuck on I-20 in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. And and you have to be driving 90 in order to not get honked at and shit. Yo, where you hiding? When I took you to New York City, we took a fucking bus for a good reason, bro. Uh, yeah. I don't blame you. I heard that a lot of people that live in the city take the subway instead of driving. Oh, uh, dude, I don't blame them at all. I would have loved taking the fucking subway, to be quite honest with you. I, I was doing I was doing deliveries with a guy who of a uh, bacon, uh, where he was, like, selling bacon door to door, like, and it, we were, they were, con he was constantly battling people over lanes. Wow. Try Spaghetti Junction, eight Fizz. You, it, you'll never forget. Hmm. Route 130 in Jersey is pretty bad as well. Mm. And I-76 I, I is not great either. Which is the, I think that's the part of, that's the highway that leads to the Walt Whitman Bridge. 
Is anything worse than a turnpike? Probably not. Whew, I, I remember the first time I rode the turnpike. Yeah, 295 sucks, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, two not yeah, two ninety five is fucking brutal. I've, I, dude, we had to drive even, down the turnpike worse. just to get to fucking Big D. Remember that shit? It's even worse when you're driving at night and you accidentally make a wrong turn. And I thought that was what you did, but you remembered exactly where you were going. I thought for a second you accidentally took a wrong turn and you're heading toward a fucking toll booth nah, into Philly or nah. something. Nope. Play Canada, play Canada. I'm not surprised. And Canada's now a fucking totalitarian shithole. Simon's cracked me up with that shit. Oh, dude, yeah. That whole rant on the fucking Canadian cowboy fan base was epic beyond proportion. I heard that was funny. Oh, dude, I I you never maple saw syrup, motherfucker. You maple syrup motherfuckers or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> you hockey puck wearing bitch niggas. I was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then he said something foul about Drake. <laughs> although, I, although I heard yeah, Warren heard, Moon been gone. No, funnily enough, I heard the Eagles are the most popular team in Canada. No, I don't I heard that I, for a second. I heard that they. I heard that they're the most popular team in Canada, especially northern Canada. Oh, dude, I, stop! That's I disgusting. Would, I would argue the Bills are. Yeah, no, I would. I would believe up, that. Look it up. Look it up. No, dude, stop. Look it up. All right, doing it now. Oh fuck! I, I think I'm gonna be sick. But it's mostly northern Canada. Southern, okay. I think it's somebody uh, else. Uh, Oh, this one is really going to get bones out of its seat. Check this out. Most popular team in Canada is the New England Patriots. Oh, now look now. Check the map, man. Fuck Boston's bitch. Check, check Google. <laughs> <laughs> check All right, Google, uh, images. Google images. Because you'll see a map of everybody's favorite team in different parts of Canada, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, Canada, Canada, Canada. Okay. That's the United States, Canada. No. Favorite NFL team in Canada on Google Images. And I'm pretty sure that you'll see a map in different parts of Canada and one team and different teams covering each parts of the map. Very similar to everybody's hated team in different parts of the country. Where in Jersey, Pennsylvania area, it's Dallas. Oh, dude, everyone hates Dallas in Pennsylvania. Are you kidding me? And I think I think in California, it's also Dallas. Nah, I, California has a very big fan base uh, for when it comes to the Cowboys. The Cowboys are huge in California. Sadly, that's not. I know that. I know that for a fact. Why is my Google Chrome not working? This is why I use other shit. What really shocks me is that you, you'd be surprised how many Philadelphia fans are in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. A lot. We travel and well. It's, pro and it's probably no surprise why there's a fucking steak place there, too. There's quite a few. Yeah. I mean, for where you're hiding to find, like, an all-out Philly bar, like, that had to have been huge for him. Yeah. I wasn't the one who actually found it. Give credit to Reese. Oh, uh, your, your brother? Yeah. You want to you know, was... know something funny? One of the girls that I met at the Philly Punk Rock Flea Market is also named Reese. Ooh. <laughs> You know, a good pickup Although line I think, for I you. Think, to... I think she's gay. You never know, but I, I suggest a good pickup line for you. Call her Reese's Buttercup. Call her Buttercup. I, okay, think, was... I, think, I think I could get away with it because it's not somebody I intend to be with. 
but I say it to be yeah. funny. Although the one, the other one who I think might be, it's unclear. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know what's how it's going to work out with the one I started talking to again today. But the the other one that I met at the flea market is kind of the one I want to be with. But the only problem is she's not old enough to go to these clubs that I've been going to. Mm-hmm. But I told her I told her I would hunt not down. Old enough? How old is she? Eighteen. Oh shit! And the thing is, she was she was celebrating her 18th birthday when I met her. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> wild, bro! Tell me about it. I I thought I thought she was I thought it was her birthday. I would have felt because her so friend her friend her, her friend posted happy was saying happy birthday the next day, and I thought to myself, oh, she just turned 18 today, which means when I met her, she was 17, and my fucking heart rate went through the roof. I'm like, oh fuck. Oh, uh, I would have felt I, 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 I mess- felt so inadequate. I messaged her and I said, I, I heard it was your birthday today. Happy birthday. She's like, no, nah, that was my, bir- no, yesterday was my birthday. That's why I was at the flea market. Wow. She told me, uh, we had, a, we talked about how she liked, she liked that. Uh, there was a coffee vendor there that she really liked. Uh, she really liked the coffee that was there. And I said, I'm not a coffee drinker. She said, nah, me either. I usually prefer tea. I said, I'll stick with Wild Cherry Pepsi and Mountain Dew. Thank you very much. He's like, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, here's but, something. But I said, but Dr. Pepper doesn't have any caffeine in it, so it do, it's not really as effective. I said, I, I asked today, what's your take on Cherry Dr. Pepper? She loves it. There's no, a weird fact about Dr. me, Pepper though. Is really good. There's a weird fact about me, though. I don't like regular coffee, but I like iced coffee. You know, I don't like no That's understandable. hot coffee. That's understandable. Yeah. I, I like I like black coffee. My dad drinks coffee every day. That's tradition for him. Uh, so does my yeah. dad. I wish my mother would go. I wish my mother would go back to drinking that instead of those fucking Red Bulls. But whatever. Yeah. Coffee is a lot more safer. You should stop fucking buying them because they're like goddamn three fifty a piece. It's that, expensive. That, as they're fuck. like super unhealthy too. Yeah. No, they're fucking trash. No, they're fucking trash. Especially when admitted. Especially when she admitted that Mountain Dew is more potent. I only try Monster maybe like three times a year. I'll stick with Mountain Dew. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mountain Dew's very good. I like that. They need to bring back the 1980s Coca Cola when it was like fucking five percent cocaine. Yeah, good luck with that. You mean 1880? Wait, 1880? They put cocaine in that shit? It that was the original. That was part of the original Coca Cola recipe. Damn. So and- are we? There, the we, one soda that predates it is Dr. Pepper by a year, 1885. So what are we all, Team Pepsi, Team Coke, or Team RC? I'm I'm generally I'm generally Pepsi most of the time. Yeah, Pepsi. Especially when that's especially when because Cherry Coke doesn't Cherry Coke doesn't come in a six pack bottles. I usually get that because that's like that's the deal. The only time I ever found RC Cola was in a fucking lunchable. Wow, yeah. I only fa- I only found it at a uh, I think it was at a vendor. It was at a vending machine in the courthouse. Oh, my dad! My dad used to actually uh, buy that quite a bit. I'm not surprised. Back when I was I've living actually, in uh, Frederick, tried, Maryland, I actually tried Fago twice. Oh, I remember one, Fago. That one's super rare in Jersey. I've only had it was at it was at this one. Uh, it was at this one uh, convenience store around the corner from an apartment complex I used to live in. They had they had black cherry Fago, which I really liked, and then Family Dollar had Fago root beer. Plus, I was here to put fear on two clowns Funny who thing- drink Fago root beer and call themselves clowns because they look queer. Oh yeah, Eminem ripped them to fuck to pieces. Yeah, mm. bro. I try to I try to like ICP, but they they suck. The insane and- clown pussies. Yeah, silent gay and faggy too dope. Oh wow! <laughs> Claim in Detroit when y'all live twenty miles away, and I don't arrest, I'll knock you fucking punk faggots the fuck out. 
<laughs> hey, remember that time where Eminem went live? He had that little play doll with him, and he gave the play doll head or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I think the ICP copied that a week or two later, but they had no chance. And it was all over, and it was all over Eminem having this kind of rap party or something. And he put maybe next to ICP, and Violent J got really butt hurt over that. Nah, but <laughs> Eminem kind of walked. He kind of walked into that by himself, but he still ripped them apart, though. Yeah, yeah. it was all it was o- it was all over putting maybe next to their name, mm. and and Violent J got super butt hurt over that. Eminem, uh, because the reason Eminem put maybe is because he didn't know they were going to be put, he didn't know whether or not they were going to be part of that. Yeah, because he was trying I mean, to invite he was like, trying to bring some people aboard it to his party or something like that. And he didn't know if they were going to show up, so he put maybe next to their name. And Violent J got really butthurt over that. Yeah, can That's you imagine if it. they actually like accepted his invite? Man. I don't want to be like this. I don't really want to hurt her feelings. No <laughs> I'm only being real when I say nobody what wants is. to hear their grandfather rap. Nope. No <laughs> man have heart attacks, and I don't want to be responsible for that. So still if feeding with down that and walk away. Still old have man. a little bit of day. Fucking old ass looking senior citizen. Hold on, does it look like you have a banana with braids and clothes on? <laughs> you, you put E before the D because that's all you want. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. No, oh, Swift and Caniva ripped the fucking sh- He ripped dude apart. Jock, be praying on that cover because he need it. You sh- we don't take you serious. You shook. You half of a halfway crook. Get off pop. That, Get off X dick. Go sing a hook. That Billy Holiday bar was crazy. They basically told him to get his own identity, bro. I was like, holy fucking shit. Con, ar- con artist trying they to mock he- Pac- trying to mock Pac- you Machiavelli. Get your own identity. Whew. Oh my god, dude! They ripped him to shreds. D D twelve uh, completely finished off Jaw. Mm. They completely murdered him. He didn't even have to rap on the record. He just let his crew do it. Never say my little girl's name in a song again, pussy ass bitch. I'm gonna fuck you fuck up. You up. <laughs> that was that was Obi Trice that yelled that. I'll suck the shit out you, you motherfucking midget. Haley will whip your motherfucking ass. Daddy, am I taller than Ja Rule? No, no, he says, Daddy, is Ja Rule taller than me? Nah, you guys are the same size. (laughs) (laughs) Come get me if you motherfuckers want shady. (laughs) (laughs) You a pussy. That has to see it and got you all uh, and mushy. Bitches wearing rags and photos. Ja's words... Being quoted in the source dealing pack shit like he just wrote it. You loud mouth, pray to God, hoping that he's listening. See 50 coming for me. Oh my God, my position. and no one pay attention to me. Please, God, here I go. Give me this pill. Ecstasy done got me feeling invincible. Now all of a sudden, I'm a fucking mad man who screams like I'm Pac, but I'm not. Acting like I'm great, but I'm fake. I'm crazy. Sweat, drip, get me off this trip. I gotta quit saying motherfuckers' names before somebody fucks me up. Ain't no pussies over here, partner. See you in See hell, you in fucker. hell, fucker. Yeah! <laughs> Get off that E or you try to come and fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> saying, uh, Jai, we lie like me. Talk about he walked out the hospital, took nine like me. You live in fantasies. I reject your deposit. When your little sweet ass gonna come out of the closet. <laughs> I love how M had Pac's exact flow. Yes. And kill Whitey. Buster Rhymes went kill totally Whitey. left field too. Buster Rhymes went left field though. He was crazy on that track. Yeah. 
Busta, Busta went all, broke kayfabe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm using wrestling terminology now. What would I be without you? <laughs> but baby, you're gonna put it on me. <laughs> that shit was whack. Those... So fuck now. What we? How we gonna eat, man? Fifty back around. That's Jai's little punk ass thinking out loud. <laughs> I'm back for good. I'm here to conquer. You sing for hoes and sound like the Cookie Monster. Yo, oh, Fifty God. Cent is trolling the fuck out of P Diddy right now, bro. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Yes, I ain't is. gonna tell nobody. I ain't gonna tell nobody you pussy. I ain't gonna tell nobody you getting extorted. I'm patiently <laughs> waiting to blow, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fifty Cent Show. Shake your neck. Your cops hold you down because you fear for your life. <laughs> it's easy to see when you look at me. When you look closely, 50 don't back down. Yo, man. Will... Yo, mammy, yo, pappy, Why that bitch you, you chasing? Justin Give Bieber to fucking M&M it's... for. What? That's it's crazy. crazy. Put them in the same fucking matchup, dude. Yeah, that's no. a, yeah, that's. That... That's wildin'. That's like Roman Reigns versus Stevie Richards, bro. <laughs> nah, that's um, you mean more like him versus Simon Dean. Oh my God, Simon Dean! When I look at you, I, I see a sorry piece of trash. How much you pay for that stupid haircut? If you paid five dollars for that haircut, you paid four ninety five too much. <laughs> <laughs> they use that they use that exact line for a parody of Steve Austin stunning Justin Bieber. To see, you don't want to know I can't stand to see a sorry piece of trash like this. How much you pay for that stupid haircut? <laughs> and then when he sings, uh, he he borrowed a line from when he said to Stephanie, I wish you hadn't have done that. But then again, I'm kind of glad you did and stuns him. <laughs> no, there was another there was another parody video of Steve Austin stunning Rebecca Black and her wig falls off. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Friday, Friday. Gonna get stunned on Friday. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and Steve, Steve Austin hits her with the Stone Cold Stunner in a wig, and it, oh, it was revealed as a wig. <laughs> now that's yeah, the 50, 50 already took care of him. Yeah. He didn't even. Why need... you go to. Why you run to Preem to get your shit back? <laughs> Fifty is probably the only one to act to feud with an actual drug lord and live to tell about it. Yeah. <laughs> and get shot nine times. Yeah, there was a there was a song where he went all in on Preem. That's how he got. That's what led to his attempted assassination. And the same ones that attempted, the same ones that botched the assassination are the same ones that assassinated Jam Master J. Same source. Yeah. The same ones who whacked Jam Master J botched. They botched the assassination on Fitty. And and like Fitty said, one in the bulletproof game. It, 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 one thing you ain't learned in the DEA: when you go to kill someone, make sure they're fucking dead. <laughs> you show that video to me when the Sixers were about were about to uh, get eliminated by the Celtics last year. Yeah, I also I also showed that when when the Eagles blew another lead. Yeah. Gotta make sure they're dead. Because they never I, do. They they never finish off their fucking opponents. They're always playing down to their competition. They always playing with their food. Speaking of food, does pineapple belong on a pizza? No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Uh oh, we're we're going full Daniel Bryan here. Uh oh. <laughs> remember Damien remember Damien Sandow? Mm-hmm. 
There was there there was this one. I can't find it on YouTube, but there was this one thing. There was this one trade back where they were in a match, and Damian Sandow says silence, and Brian says no. That's what I'm talking about. Eight fans back and forth. Yes, eight fans on my side. Yeah, I was watching uh, Enzo Amore's uh, wrestling promos, and I'm like, dude, why is this guy, like, not – why is he out of the fucking job, bro? Because he's a head case behind the scenes. Ah, uh, come on. Dude, he was a fucking savage, though. A little too much of one because I heard he was an absolute hothead and diva backstage. Really? And, ultimately got him, and he ultimately got himself blackballed. I'm a certified G, and you can't teach that. And he's, from, and he's from North Jersey. Yeah, he's from Hackensack. Smack talker, Skywalker. I heard that uh, his, his partner, Big Cass, a.k.a. I believe William Morrissey is what he's referred to. He's in TNA now. And he was briefly in AEW. Supr- when he says supreme for the uninitiated, it means everything on it. I usually stick uh, with pepperoni and sausage. Occasional meat lovers. Yeah. It, it's basically like a meat lovers, but you just add the peppers, the olives. No, supreme pizza is just everything. It, like pepperoni, ham, black in, olive. In, instead of the typical tomato pepper. sauce, put in put a uh, vodka sauce in your pizza, bro. Yeah. Yuck. What? I Yuck. use I use mayonnaise as a base once. Yuck. <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking without the I'm talking without the macaroni though. <laughs> without it. Without it. <laughs> <laughs> no that kind of it kind of reminds me of that like one there was this like one it's not actual incest but there was this like like incest themed porn video where he was like trying to get her to do you know and then she's like but but <laughs> it's, it's, like it's like one of them blackmail themed things oh i fuck can't with that shit <laughs> I can't. I, I I would. I almost was planning to use certain clips, but with the only the face showing. But I think that would have been on the level of having a top two hundred list. And I ain't, I'm not doing that. No, dude, you don't, don't need that. Top, I don't even have a top eight. I don't even have a top eight. I don't <laughs> have any favorites or anything. Speaking of top eight, when you said it doesn't, it doesn't that reminded me of fucking MySpace. It doesn't help that. It doesn't help that. My types are usually, it's usually fucking torture fetish. I'm a foot fetish. Well, there, there is a ATK where they, they, they do use their, they use their feet a lot. Ugh. Oh my, oh, you, would have, you would have fucking... a fucking, you would have a fucking field day with ATK, ATK girlfriends. You would have a fucking field day with that Hayden. I don't know if I would have been able to control my boner or not. No, you you would you would lose your you would lose your marbles. Yeah. Because it, 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 it it's pretty intense. It gets pretty hot. What the hell is a mai tai? Is that a pizza? Mai tai is a drink. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn! I butchered that. <laughs> how about a how about a tell pie pie? Uh, that probably went over people's heads if they're if they haven't watched Dragon Ball. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Me, I'm a fan of Dragon Ball. I just don't remember that part. Mercenary Tao, his his name in Japan is called Tao Pie Pie. I could go for a water ice, considering how uh, hot it's going to be. I want chocolate water ice, Mister Popo. Ooh, that's something very new and creative, Big D. No, that's actually a thing. They actually make chocolate water ice. Interesting. Uh, that don't surprise me one bit. 
Dude, they've been selling it at Rita's for for ages. Although yes, we are approaching, wait, we Rita's are approaching. Italian ice. Yeah, they no they actually sell. Way. And there's also they also I think Luigi's also makes a chocolate water ice. Although that I usually go for the lemon. Nuts. Oh, let me tell y'all something ridiculous. They only have two Ritas down here. Only two Ritas in in Atlanta. That's yes. fucked up. That's fucking insane. They have no Wawa's here either. Well, yeah, they, they. I heard they do it. I heard they they're thinking about expanding down south. Their their replacement is Quick Trip. Uh, in North Jersey, you got Quick Check, and I think Quick Check should be fucking abolished. Why? What's yeah. wrong with it, the dude? Pretzels. Quick Check is fucking nasty, bro. I, I've I've been to, I've been to Quick Check before. That that they have Quick Check. A quick couple, check and they have a couple nasty. quick checks in brick. I will, I will choose, dude. I may be a North Jersey guy, but coming from a North Jersey guy, I'll pick Wawa over Quick Check any fucking day. I, I actually like Rudders in PA. What's that nice. one place in Carolina that I thought that shit was totally fucking insane? There's one in Ar there's one in Arkansas called Come and Go, and it's spelled K U M. Yeah, that's gross. Oh my god! And of course, it's Arkansas of all fucking. One of my one of my guys at work. Trash fucking places. One of my guys oh at my work god. told me that yes, one. I'm a white man, and I'm saying white trash. Fuck Arkansas, bro. Yeah, oh that's, all right. that's all right. That's all right. That's disgusting. Yes, it is. I, I've heard some pretty fucked up things about Arkansas, bro. Yeah, me, me too. And that's just one of them. Uh, Arkansas is fucking gross. They're pretty yeah. perverted so, from so what I've so heard. There so are a lot of areas in the fucking dirty south. They don't call it the dirty south for nothing. They get pretty perverted down here. and Pretty slutty. Oh, in hot Atlanta? Yeah. I mean, you do have Magic City. Yeah. And yeah. I heard and I heard and I heard my types are more common down there and they have a higher single population than they do up here. Yeah, man. But at, least I, but at least I'm but at least I'm fucking zeroing in. At least there's some good news. Yeah. Thank yeah, God. Some good news up north. <laughs> they get a little too slutty down here. Trust right. me, they're not your type. They're not your type, Big D. No, I know some. I know some. If you're looking for a commitment, they are not the ones. They're they're conflicted as fuck. Mm. Yeah, I, I I just don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell is going to happen in the next few days. I really don't. It's just I just got to play it by ear. Yeah, yeah good luck I'm to just, you, man. Hoping for the best, bro. Yeah, I'm just hoping that the one I met online isn't. You know, Slutty. I hope she's not. I just hope she's not fat. That's kind of <laughs> what I'm afraid of. I mean, I, I I've seen photos, but they're not. Hey, they're only dude, put it this them, way. There's not. There's not enough to go off of. Put it this way: if her titties are bigger than her belly, it's okay. <laughs> that that's that's my it, code. At least like might, it looks like they might be. Oh but yeah, I, I I forgot. Bones is a big fan of titties. This motherfucker right here, boy, I tell you. Yo, who got you smiling like that, gang? Shit. You left out the part where he says, oh, they feel so real. <laughs> Yo, she <laughs> knocks him the fuck out in that movie, bro. Fucking <laughs> Jack. Even though there isn't, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a mirage. Yeah. Although he probably did vision himself getting KO'd. Yeah, that's, that's 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 Jerry O'Connell. You you know he was the fat kid from Stand By Me, right? Yeah. <laughs> How fucking ironic. Yeah, and Corey Feldman's in that fucking movie too. F funnily enough, Anthony Anderson was used as a body double for some for some weird movie with The Rock called Central Intelligence. He was the body double for he was the body for The Rock in the beginning of that film with. The Rock's face put pasted over it, CGI'd over it. 
Speaking of weight, it's amazing how much Anthony Anderson lost. Yeah. Yeah, man. He ain't the funny fat guy anymore. <laughs> nope. No, he ain't. Oof. Oh, yeah. The that, that, how fat this. Joe is uh, extra medium Joe. It's like an ad for it's like an ad for a fucking weight loss center. There's before and way and before. way before. <laughs> <laughs> this guy won't ever stop breaking balls. I was oh, telling you, hear me. you hear, oh you hear what I said? I said I said looked over there and I said you see it said it was an ad for a fucking weight loss center. You got before and you got way before. <laughs> That was always the best part of like Paul. He would just recap his jokes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you hear that? Told him I went over for a blowjob. Your mother was selling. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, when you and uh, when did you have your first blowjob? How long did it take, long take for the guy to come? <laughs> you oh, you hear what I said? I asked him when. You, when was your first blowjob? I I asked him how long did it take for the guy to come. <laughs> I asked Big D in the DMs. I was like, yo, would you ever go for a fat girl? He was like, no. I was like, but, 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 well, what if, what if she's trying to lose weight? No way. No way where you hiding. Well, what, what if her they, they, could, oh, yeah. they could say that and then completely in their give a fuck button will still break. No, yeah. but Big D, what if her titties was bigger than her belly? I don't know. It, 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 there'd have to be a specific number of inches. Or feet. <laughs> Whoa, pause. In more ways than one. Cause in, in my single days, that was my code. Like, if I was to, like, you know, get with a fat chick, her titties had to be bigger than her belly. Exactly. At the very least. At the very least, yes. Uh, that I was, was tell my code. In the meantime, I could keep... keep I could be getting some ass with a chick from Hourglass if you don't get with the fucking program. <laughs> I was telling Big D, even though we're getting some heat, we don't like the heat, at least the titties and feet will be out. Yeah, oh and I showed God. you some and I showed you some examples. <laughs> you guys are crazy. No, not of no and uh, no, not of mine, you sick fucks. <laughs> 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 Get your mind no. out of the fucking gutter. <laughs> oh my god, that's sick, bro. Oh yeah, I use that. I use that on my. I use that line on my own show a couple of nights ago. <laughs> Get your mind out of the fucking gutter. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know. I said that again when, when I tell when I plug uh this vendor called Dreadful Things, who I want you to meet at the Jersey Fable Festival, <laughs> because I heard they're gonna be there. Double D's. No, not that kind. Even though that, that would be my, although that would be my preferred, but I don't really give a shit. I'm more of an ass man. Mm. Do you eat ass? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. For for me, it's uh, that's exit only, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat ass. I eat pussy. I ain't pussy. Oh, yeah, that's the primary. Oh yeah, that's the primary. <laughs> Obviously, in the no kidding department, that's the primary thing. Oh my god, bones! I totally set myself up for that. I like. I, I per. I personally like. Uh, I personally prefer it when they're standing up straight. And then they start le and they lean back slightly. I'm also a fan of titties and a pretty smile. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. You can't go Is wrong with the latter. He's definitely experienced in the game. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the ladder. <laughs> Facts. Yo, Facts. Tell you what, speaking of ladders, my, my girlfriend is actually taller than me. Yeah, that that's one thing. The, the one thing is when you meet some at Goth Nights, you'll probably think they're taller than you, and then you realize they're wearing fucking platform boots. You know, the kind with those really tall, those chunky outsoles that make them look taller than what they are yeah yeah, yeah platforms are kind of a huge thing in that my girlfriend was wearing sneakers when we went on our first date and i was like holy shit you got a two inches on me go god damn <laughs> but i still fucks with you 
It's actually I've actually found I've actually confirmed that I'm five ten. Because that, that guy I want you to meet when he comes back down home to his home area of Atlanta, his name is Trevor Aon. He's five eleven. I don't know, man. I still think you six feet. I'm six mm. feet. No, no, no. I am not six feet. I am six feet. I'm five ten. He's five eleven. That dude I met, he's five eleven. I he told me he's five eleven, and I I compared our heights, and he's taller than me. I have to be like five ten then. But that makes me five ten. Because I I'm slightly uh, shorter than Bones and you. Ah. Desert, Desert Eagle thought I was uh he thought I was short. Me too. Desert six one. <laughs> He's six one or six three, somewhere around there. Yeah. And no, I would imagine Desert Desert Eagle, I would imagine Joey yeah. Shake is around six two. Yeah. Desert, e Desert Eagle before I met him, he thought I was like Kirk Franklin, Kevin Hart height. <laughs> I kind of thought of that myself, but Ooh. And then, and then he told this uh, really funny story. He was like, you know, I was sitting down, and then, you know, once I stood up, he was like, oh, shit, that's your actual height? Yeah. yeah. Dude, D-Town is like six foot four. That's the big show, man. Yeah, dude. I, well, it's the big When I met D-Town in MetLife, he took me by surprise. Yes, well, it's, it's the big fat show tonight, y'all. Well, it's the big slow. <laughs> <laughs> for the for that time, your crappy music hits. Well, it's the big slow, <laughs> and you step over the top rope like the Rock is supposed to be impressed by that. Mm. Like that's supposed to impress the Rock. The Rock will always be my favorite. Happy birthday to Steph. You're a hoe with big breasts. So take the <laughs> night out from hooking. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yo, remember remember when he sung to Vicky? Yeah. There's yeah. more foam in that bra than in one of my beers. <laughs> and I say no, biatch. You look horrible. horrible. <laughs> oh, dude. That smile she went, had on her face went away quick. Yo, oh, yeah. dude, my biggest say memory. Want, say whatever you want about Vicky, but she was always good at that. Dude, I my biggest good memory. She was always I good at that. you not. My biggest memory of Vicky Guerrero was it was a it was a Monday night raw show. And she was doing her old, the excuse me. And then as she was doing her promo, the crowd was booing her so loud. You oh, couldn't even the... hear. You couldn't even hear what she was saying to you. The crowd was just overwhelming. She was always getting, she always got, booze. she always got nuclear heat. Much like how Dom gets now. That's how you know Dom is a Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> no... Dude, that is so fucked up, man. <laughs> that is now Dom how you gets know that Dom same is a Guerrero. <laughs> he gets that same heat. Dude, I only I only find that funny because I remember that fucking ridiculous ladder match that Eddie and Rey Mysterio had. Ew. They they missed an opportunity big time when Dom faced Ray of Dom coming out to Eddie's heel theme. They missed an opportunity because they he, they should have had him do that, but it didn't happen. Could you imagine waking up next to Vicky? Hey, ask Eddie Guerrero. I mean, he married her. Ugh. Ugh. You, I mean, uh, you are, you are a winner tonight. I am for what? Because you are the only one here that is wearing more makeup than me. <laughs> <laughs> that was gold. That was gold dust, dude. Gold dust was great. <laughs> Talking about having sex with a dead body. Now, who in the right mind would have sex with a dead body? <laughs> Gold does is like, what? I was young and stupid. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was during that god. That was a, during that god awful Katie Vick angle. 
And, and he was in, in disguise wearing a Latrell Sprewell jersey with the Knicks hat. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sorry about that. Sprewell was the worst. And Fuck the thing you. And the thing is, <laughs> that Erwin R. Scheister was the clerk at that 7-Eleven. I used to love Sprewell, you fucking cocksucker. Yeah, well, too bad he went bankrupt. I I know. That and not yet alone losing the championship back in fucking 99. He thought he was too good for $8 million. Oh my God, I got a family to feed. Fuck you. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I'll be choking you like Sprewell be choking coaches. (laughs) Yeah, I remember that shit. It happened in uh, Golden State. He He was playing with Golden State. And they got traded like some weeks later. I remember that shit. (laughs) Go back to being a car jacker. You against me, you're going to choke like the Packers. Damn. Uh, John Cena had some pretty nice fucking bars. Yeah. No. Name is Brock Lesnar. Here comes the pain. God built me strong. Forget to give me brain. I love the look on Brock's face. Like, is this fucking guy really serious? He, he's just asking for it now. Yeah. That look on his face when Brock when he said that, Brock literally looked like he was about to kill him. You pop around like you got potatoes in your crack. That's a nice yeah. tattoo of, of your, your mother, mother on your back. back. Oh, dude. <laughs> that shit was wild, bruh. I miss Dr. Thugonomics, dude. I really do. Uh, open wide, you wide load. Your butt looks like a thing, a bad road. I'm here to show everybody where I'm coming from. Yes, looks like, like, like two packs of chewed bubble gum. Mm. No, nah, dude, but Kurt Angle got him so good, bro. There once was a kid who liked to talk a lot of smack. He's actually <laughs> whiter than me, but he thinks he's black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He has something you he likes suck. to use. It. He likes to use a chain. I'm gonna shove it up his ass if he ever tries to use it again. You suck, dude. Kurt Angle, I may, is fucking great. I may suck, but you just blow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear your, I hear your chants. I hear your cat calls. Oh, and it's true. I'm obsessed with other man's balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh you, you, Kurt Angle, you think you could stand up to me, John Cena? You can't see me. When I say, Cena, you're a wiener. When I say Cena, you say wiener. <laughs> the the little mini Kurt Angle. I use that for, I use that for Angle, when, uh, and I won't take your crap. You mess with me, and I will make you tap. Word, word life. life. <laughs> and in the, and in the, Dude, he fucking the, destroyed John Cena. That and then the, and, the, and then they were nose to nose immediately after that on some Goku versus Majin Vegeta shit. Oh, mm. dude, no. Nah, Kurt Angle and John Cena was an epic ruthless aggression rivalry, bro. I loved it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Of it. Although <laughs> Angle, although Lesnar versus Angle was the main one. Yeah, but no, nah, Cena and Angle was like. Super fucking funny and entertaining to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. Okay. So it looks like the Bulls will be getting the eat. Well, that should be interesting. Sorry. Sorry, Slita. You got to go. Bye bye. Slita. Bye bye. <laughs> Well, where are you hiding? We still got a bunch of championships. Yeah, but you don't got any in basketball. Yeah. And it was a it was a nice ride in baseball, but that that's over. Yeah, thanks, Phillies. Their window slammed shut because they don't know how to, they don't know how to construct a roster, and they haven't bothered to try learning. Oh, dude, it was so sweet when the Yankees were pushing Houston shit right in their fucking throats. You talking about earlier this season? 
Yeah, man, dude. We the Yankees needed that, bro. Fuck. Yeah, because yeah, the Astros have had their number for the longest time, dude. Fuck Houston, bro. I I couldn't stand them for a long time. Yeah, because yeah. they always they always have your number in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, and the fucking World Series too. Yeah, the World Series. Fuck them. Fuck you. That was the that was the ALCS. Yeah, you can't meet them in the World Series. Oh, that was the A. Okay. Yeah, that was the ALCS. Yeah, that was when they swept you and they faced us in the World Series. And you choked. Yeah. The moment you got no hit, I knew you weren't winning another fucking game after that. <laughs> Dude, that that was cold. <laughs> you were cold as ice. <laughs> what a what a heartbreaking fucking year that was in general. Oh, 2022 was a shit show. Yeah, leading into 2023. That will that will be one of my most hated years of all time. I hated 2022 with a passion. Yeah, we're talking about the Buckeyes not making it to a national championship, even though they could have beat Georgia. Um, damn, uh, the Stars, they lost in the championship. The Phillies lost in the World Series. The Eagles lost in the Super Bowl. All choked. All extremely winnable. It's a Philly oh. thing. Oh, and to add fuel to the fire, yep. U- USA lost to Japan in the uh, although the, although, the Super Bowl 50, although Super Bowl Fifty Seven choke job was twenty twenty three, with twenty twenty two with twenty twenty two it was the fucking Christmas Eve debacle. That's when you stop believing. Christmas Eve debacle. Holy shit! So you're telling me that anybody when you stop who believing. anybody I will block. Anybody who posts any images from that game, any video, any imagery, any reference, I will fucking block immediately. <laughs> I'm I hate not going that game. back to that game. I will hate no. that. I will hate that game. I'm never letting it go. It was a dark day for me, man. Like I will never I hate, get over I hate that. it. I am never I, letting that shit go. I cried over that game. That shit was painful. 200% should have fucking won that. It's a Philly thing. Fuck you. I want, I want, yeah, I, uh, fuck Jared, you. Fucking Slay should, <laughs> Slay should have been fucking traded instead of Reddick. Um, I kind of should have, yeah. Maybe Bradbury. That would be, that would have been great. G- Gainwell. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gainwell, Gainwell should have gotten more carries in Super Bowl 57. I would die on that hill. Oh my god. He was least... fucking he was he went off in those play in that playoff run. He was running motherfuckers over. And then in Super Bowl 57, we decided to not use him and make Jalen the turnover machine throw 40 times a game. And here's the thing, they never learned. Hey, I mean you guys got Saquon now. Yeah. Question is, will we f- actually friggin' use him? Yeah, because we we talked about this earlier, Big D, how we didn't use Swift enough. No, we didn't use him. We didn't use Kane well. We didn't use Scott. We didn't use anybody enough. We're making our QB throw. The only time we ever called a running pay is when we called a fucking quarterback draw. Oh, why do you think Jordan Howard's not here no more? Yeah, exactly. Or LeGarrette Blunt, if you want to go back that far. Yeah, that, he, that move pissed saying, me off. <laughs> that move pissed me off back in 2018. And he didn't retire right then. He uh, went to the Lions after that. I know. I know. I hate. I hated the 2018 season. Where you hide and said blunt. <laughs> you destroyed I'm, y'all, didn't he? I'm. I'm such a stoner. I'm stoner. I'm stoner. I'm stoner. Yeah, but the the thing is that that exact year took place in 20. 20- that exact debacle took place in 2023, Dashy. Yeah. He's talking about, he's referring to that AFC championship game that allowed the Chiefs to go to that Super Bowl. I would have I would have much rather I said this the other night, I would have much rather lost to the Bengals. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I, I would have had so much respect for Dashy if he had Andy. won that Super Bowl. Fuck Andy Reid. Yeah. I will always hate him more than life itself. 
Could you imagine if Taylor Swift was on board back then? Oh, my God. Thank God I don't even have to think about that stupid bitch anymore. Yeah. Well, thank God, thank, God, thank, God, uh, thank I, God whenever I thank yeah. God I whenever I go out, I always all I gotta do is all I hear is uh those old school eighties tracks. Hold on. Now let's 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 be real here. And and I know that we're all guilty for this shit. We all of us have shitted on Taylor Swift, but we have praised Alanis set for going after Uncle Joey from Full House. Never yep. heard. Yep. Never heard. What? Oh yeah. Uh boom. You, you I, wanna I, know by Alanis Morissette? You never heard of that song. No. Are you she, fucking serious, bro? I I Dead yo, ass. Big, yo, Bones, I, I kid you not. I, I sent him a uh, one hand in my pocket lyric and he said, I don't know who she is. Never wow. heard. Ow. I, I was like, heard. dude, Alanis Morissette was one of the greatest female singers in the '90s, bro. Yes, she don't. She doesn't get enough credit as much as the world should. But god damn it, she was great, bro. Yes, I'm brave, but I'm chicken shit. I'm sick, but I'm pretty, baby. <laughs> what it all comes down to, my friends. Yeah, I might, I might have, but I would, I would have to hear it in order to recognize it. Is that She's, everything's gonna be just fine, fine, fine? I might have, I might have, but I'd have to hear, I'd have to hear it, bro, dude. That's song that, again. I'm sorry, but Alanis Morissette has a lot of guilty pleasure fucking songs. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she fucking does, bro. She sang out in the street naked and said thank naked. you to all of you. Naked, naked. but at, but at but what, naked but, like the Rugrats. But was she actually or was she wearing a flesh no, color? It was naked, bro. Actually, naked, or was it? Na- her hair was covering her titties, but she was butt ass naked, bro. <laughs> and I saw her know, little. How do you know? And I because, saw her little. Cute. Go ahead. How do you know? Did you actually see anything? I saw her butt, butt. Well, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to look that up. She, she, she definitely had booties. That there were, there were, because I remember there. I remember briefly this Blink One Eighty Two music video with like three of them, but it turned out they were wearing flesh colored. They were wearing flesh colored bikinis. Wow. Or or when uh when the Dudleys ripped the towels off Jericho and Christian, it turned out they were wearing thongs. That thong, the thong, thong, thong. Yo, dude. With with Christian and Jericho being naked, everyone looks at that fucking uh, promo differently now. Now that Vince McMahon is out of the picture. <clears throat> oh, okay. But they were the, they were all actually, the six although they were actually wearing off, thongs. Dude, all the sick shit that you saw over the years in WWE are going to be looked completely different now. Now that Vince McMahon is gone. Yep. Especially the fucking shit with Tori Wilson. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And Trish Stratus barking like a dog. That too. Or that fucking shit with... Or that one backstage segment with Steve Blackman and Brian Christopher. Yep. Mm. Chuck Palumbo and Billy Gunn. You look so good to me. <laughs> the Billy and Chuck. Oh, and oh, and Rico. Yeah, that shit was. I'm sorry, but that shit was overly horrible. Or the or the or the v, or that god awful veto gimmick. That shit was fucking uber gay, bro. Shit was gayer than gay. Ha! Gay! Shit was fucking (laughs) voguing to Madonna gay. Oh, you're preaching to the fucking choir, Reaper. I had a girl that I wanted that liked all the stuff I liked and and would have full-on conversations with me and actually would be engaging. And it turns out she had this shit hit. And the next thing you know, I heard that she had a weak immune system and I never heard from her again. No, yep. nothing happened. She just never came back to work. That was also a year we lost to the Giants. 
Yeah, thanks a lot, Wentz, you underachieving faggot. Bitch. <laughs> well, Not a spit on his grave. Car- I, I, uh, Carson Wentz is my second most hated eagle of all time, and Reed is my first. If there's one guy I wish injury on, it's definitely Gingivitis. If I if I were to make any exception, it would definitely be that motherfucker. How ironic that Andy Reid's last game as an Eagle, the Giants beat the shit out of him, and fucking Carson Wentz's last game as an Eagle, the Giants fucking win. <laughs> actually, his last game Fuck was the guys. Packers. It was actually the Packers, unless you count his the last full game he had. Although no, I think I'm it talking was- about Carson Wentz's last game against the Giants. Yeah. That's that's what I meant. And for Andy Reid's last game as an Eagle, how ironic the last game of the season was the New York Giants. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, man. How did you recover? I mean, shit. That was when fucking uh, Victor Cruz was fucking wilding out, bro. Yeah, Namdi practically made that motherfucker's career. He really did. I'm not going to lie, bro. Namdi awful wah. Namdi biggest bust. Namdi bust wah. Biggest free agency bust of all time. Oh, he's definitely busting it down for these other teams, bro. Not no more, he ain't. Mm. Ain't he, you know, working for kids now? Mm. Put him on the Epstein list. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's nasty. That shit is yeah. nasty. That's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. <clears throat> well, Jesus Christ, we're about to enter midnight. <laughs> I guess I gotta, it is. I, I got to put the kid to bed. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I got to get back and get ready for work. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all got to find a work. In- Nah, fuck, nah, fuck nah. Dan Snyder. Yeah, fu- uh, you, fuck sh- Dan Snyder. That because that's what we made. And this fuck Dan Snyder. For. Yeah, and fuck Dan Snyder too. And fuck the Giants. Fuck the Eagles. You fuck the Sixers. The Knicks are gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> I certainly <laughs> hope so. <laughs> oh, shit, nigga, please. Yeah, n- nigga, please. <laughs> More I'm, a, I'm, nigga, I'm, gonna, please, I'm gonna fucking please. I'm gonna laugh this. Oh, you better hope that motherfucker doesn't shoot 27% in elimination games again. Otherwise, you I'm going all the fuck in. Don't get in that fucking <laughs> if they choke in a if they choke in the first round, that motherfucker chokes again. I'm going all the fuck in. I'm gonna really let motherfuckers have it. Send, send me the video because I'll watch anyone dissing Philadelphia, anyone dissing the fucking six. Fuck the Sixers. Fuck it's damn, damn right. Playoff it's time, on. baby. Let's go. It's on. It's on, Bones. It's on. I- I'm ready for this. It's on like Donkey Kong. Yes, yeah. sir. Let's go. Funny thing is, Ice Cube was the first one to a- say that. Wow. And then I heard N- Nintendo actually gained uh, uh, gained the rights to that catchphrase. <laughs> of course. All those, it of took course. A- and of course, all these years later, Donkey Kong himself finally says it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if I told you he knows martial arts? Explains why he's in Smash Bros. for so many years. Yeah, his back air is equivalent to a martial arts kick. And also, Jungle Beat, which also backs this up. He does a Street Fighter style move. Ooh. And, and he does a lot of sidekicks. He's similar to that. Damn, what's that fucking Green Ape's name for fucking uh, Street Fighter? He reminds me of him. He's all. He was often compared to Zangief. Yeah, that's a strong wrestler guy. That's who. That's who DK is often compared to. Zangief. No, I'm sorry, but I got Donkey Kong over fucking fucking Zangief, bro. June Bu- Junebug, who mains him in melee, compares him to Zangief with their play style. That I, they, I only say this you, because like Zangief, grabs you and try, he grabs you and tries to kill you, but he's slow and clunky, and he spins sometimes. That's the thing with Zangief, though. Like 
he he was so like cheap as fuck when you played him in Marvel versus Capcom, but when you chose him as a character, he was so like hard to figure out. Right, he's difficult to use. But then again, a lot of top tiers and a lot of games are. Yeah. Like for example, in Smash Ultimate, you can't just pick up Kazia and expect to be good overnight. You couldn't even pick the fucking juggernaut in Marvel superheroes and expect to be good. Yeah, right. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah, juggernaut, bitch. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's get the hell out of here before the cops, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Later, bones. I never bother with people that I hate. <laughs> Oh, shit.